アロー。アロチェ。Can you hear me? Can you hear me? There you are. Hey. Hi, Chad. I just waited till after 9 p.m. so I could call you without using min minutes. She looks well rested. w o a thank you. <laughs> okay, talk to you right now. Bye. <sighs> Hello, everyone. From 2 p.m. Pacific time. I'm g e t s b e e n a year. Slay. Roughly. 10 hours after the Genshin Impact live stream has gone live. <laughs> and we're gonna watch it together.、Um, I just saw that it's an hour and 20 minutes.、Oh、my gosh. Hurts, thank you for the year resub.、Uh, Go s i c k thank you for the prime sub. I, I, they've been like 45 minutes. Um. But yeah, it looks long. I'm excited. I also see that there's、um, a pretty decent amount of dislikes on the video. So that's interesting. So that's interesting. I guess、uh, my guess is that that's due to the anniversary rewards or whatever, if it's insignificant. <laughs> uh, Can't wait for the star rail. I haven't seen it yet. Show me an iPhone 15 Pro. Dislike, yeah. Can't wait for star rail new water technology and iPhone 15 Pro. Oh my gosh, I didn't wake up. I didn't know that, like, if you don't order an iPhone two seconds after it goes live, that you don't get your iPhone for like two months. So, mine's my I got an iPhone 15 Pro Max finally getting a pro for my job. And it's not arriving until November. But Apple, I'm a content creator, okay? I need the phone now. <laughs> It's my own fault. I didn't know iPhones still sold out like that. 15 Pro Max? Uh, yeah, my phone's like part of my job. Business expense. <laughs> More time to use the case. That's actually my first thought is that this case that I spent. A lot on. I can still use it. Copium. <laughs> We can survive with an iPhone 5C? You can, maybe. You gotta be down with the cool kids and be refreshing the page five minutes before it goes on live. I genuinely did not know that Apple's iPhones still sold out like that. I thought I was just gonna be able to stroll on and buy me an iPhone. This is an iPhone 12, so I haven't upgraded in a while. Not a, not a 12 Pro or anything, just a straight up 12. It's iPhone? Yeah. I don't know. I thought. I thought. I know Apple's still like the leading phone in America, but I don't know. I didn't expect it to be so intense. Are you gonna pull for d u v i l e t t e Absolutely! Absolutely. Um. That's what I'm saving for. It's a brand. Yeah. You'd think they just make more. Yeah, I wonder how. I wonder what the shipping is now. Because, like. I guess at one point it was like if you bought one now, it would arrive in October. And now it's like. that When I got mine, it was November 15th. <laughs> so then mine is going to arrive two hours, two, two months from now. If I get free shipping, I wonder if it's gone up. Hopefully, they'll get ahead of schedule. Maybe they're just being like conservative with how long it's gonna take. But yeah, just trying to see how long. Whatever. If I waited, I waited four months for my. For my, um. Oh, yeah, November 6th to November 13th. That's when mine's arriving. <laughs> I got the natural titanium. 
Never Nobody, thank you for the 100 bits. Pinkish, thank you for the 7. Starboy, thank you for the tier 1. And give people a little more time so they can get in before the live stream starts or before I start it. Yeah, if I waited four and a half months for my sage green Kindle, then I can wait two months for an iPhone. Hopefully it won't be that long. They're saving baby pink color from their struggling to keep the lights on. <laughs> yeah, they're saving the pastels for when, you know, the, the lone sharks are coming in. I also wonder if it's partially because they're using a lot of recycled materials. And I wonder if recycled materials are harder to source than like the iPhones and the Apple watches use a ton of recycled materials, which is awesome. But I was wondering if that's part of it. The pink one is so Kirby vibes. <laughs> yeah, I really like the pink one, but I need the I need the the pro for my purposes. There's a sage green Kindle. No, I didn't need that info. It's finally arriving in like three days. <laughs> yeah, I literally I bought I could have had the black one like way sooner, but. Aesthetic never sleeps, so... Ha! <laughs> Love a new phone, Let's but mine still works good, I can't complain. Live stream. Hope you had a good night, rest, MS, dish, and dish flower. I can't believe that iPhone 5 can handle console games. And even Genshin went in on the fun. Yeah. Yeah. The video, the game updates on iPhone looked amazing. The black is Pog. Smile. It is. But not for my purposes. Can we watch the Fushun trailer? Oh, the Fushun trailer came out? I didn't know that. I was just off Twitter. Fushun. I was off Twitter for like Happy 4.1 special all program of last night. Three. Yeah, let's watch it. Let's see if. Oh, gosh. I still want her. I do. I really want Fushun, but. Jing, uh, Jing Liu might have stolen my attention. But her design is so nice. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Minds can be changed. Minds can be changed. Over two years, finally. Can't wait to see the live stream today. She was a fairy. <laughs> I wait for your reactions before watching it myself. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that it's worth it to you, Sunny. Thank you for the 25. Konos, thank you for the six months. Bunia, thank you for the three months. Oh no, an ad is starting Happy soon. Friday. Jing Lu is the way to go. Jing Lu. I, I think I, an ad is starting soon, so maybe I should wait like a couple minutes. I'm obsessed with Fushun old animation, but Jing Lu has stolen my attention. Yeah, the old animation, which I would know nothing about, obviously, is beautiful and very tempting. I've only seen it in my dreams. <laughs> in my in my hopes and dreams. In my manifestations. What plans do you have? Um in here I have a couple. I've gotten rid of a few because they're not like cat friendly. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what this one's called, but this is probably my healthiest plant. This one. Can you see? That the fifth leaf is new. <laughs> oh no, paralysis. Your annoying TTS got muted. Unlucky skill issue, thank you for the 100 bits. Robbie, thank you for the 100. That one's called Gary. Um, um, I don't think, um. Another Genshin anniversary, another fall on Chi Chi season, Terry Tao. Ball and Chi Chi. <laughs> it's gonna be all right, guys. It's gonna be all right. What has the ad started? It says ad starting soon. It said that for like three minutes. Okay, now it's going. Yeah. We'll start the we'll start the trailer in exactly one minute and twenty six seconds. What do you want to get in the update of one point four point one? Do you mean as far as characters and stuff goes? I don't know yet, because I don't know the banners. 
Um, genuinely, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But I think I care most about the the quest. I care most about the oratrice. And I want to see Nuvillette in like his true form. I'm also very curious to find out. Me and Sevi were talking about this on her podcast. That they the the <laughs> act one and two made it so incredibly obvious that Nuvillette is the Hydro Dragon, but we're wondering if it's possibly like a red herring. Um just considering the characteristics of Fontaine, is it possible? Is it possible that they've made it obvious because they're gonna like bait and switch later? I don't know. Or, or are they spoon feeding us? I honestly couldn't tell you. Yeah, no spoilers, please, for my for my sake and for the people who have not watched the the live stream and have waited to watch it with us. Ah. <sighs> Haven't watched it yet. No, we're about to. Okay, um... 30... 29 seconds, and then we're starting Fushun trailer. Adgers, are we done? Dear diary. NGL, it could go either way. He looks like an Oceanid sometimes. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Ocean, it had not crossed my mind. But I suppose it is possible. All right, Adgers, welcome back. Ushren, a character I'm definitely not pulling for. Unless. Unless. Fallen petals bed the ground. All is preordained. And what is seen through the Omniscia is destined to be realized. Now that all elements of the past have taken their places, <laughs> the future sits within my reach. As clear as daylight. Rows of many morphed to one. Nova burst. <laughs> Love the music. The Omnisia sees through you. The cycles of yin and yang never cease. I hate you. I'm late. I'm late. <laughs> are crude, they're not the last logical. Jing Shui, your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I saw so many animations, I'm like, not sure what's what. Like, is this a skill? Though all things in the universe have their own inherent principles, the choice between real and This looks like an old though. Okay, that has to be the burst. That has to be the burst. <laughs> the world is like imploding. Domain expansion, eyeball. <laughs> Volcanic eruption, that has to be the burst. <laughs> okay, what's the skill then? Many. The way that the music is and the, her voice, like the way she talks, it almost sounds like spoken word. <laughs> One. Nova burst. 
This... Like, what's this? Is this skill? That feels... That's giving skill. Okay, but what's that? But what's that? In what's that? What's the spin move? Passive? Passive? Does do we see this in 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 combat? Like that's freaking sick! I have no idea. It's a passive heal. Oh my gosh! Wow. It's her sustain kit. Wow, so pretty. I love how purple and pink and sparkly everything is. It's it 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 kind of tickles my brain. Okay, but this part, tell me, doesn't sound like spoken word. Into the way of the world, scrutinizing the universe's entirety. <laughs> Though all things in the universe have their own inherent principles. Yeah. Between real and Bars. Lies in our own hands. <laughs> oh, she's so cool. She's so cool. So girly pop. SoundCloud. She's a SoundCloud rapper. The pink and purple. Yes. Yes. Go off favorite colors when I was when I was ten years old. Although the general's comments are crude, they're nonetheless logical. Ching Shui, your thoughts? <laughs> oh, I want to see that face, not just face plant, she face slid. <laughs> like her face is in the ground. That hurt. I know that hurt. Ugh, dang it. She is a fairy though. Fallen petals bed the ground. Like she is a fairy. All is preordained. <laughs> maybe maybe how long it took me to get done hung will be reconciled. Maybe I will get her more quickly. Just succumb. No. Maybe Jing is not even that cool. Maybe she's not even that cool. No, she's cool. She's really cool. She's pretty. And dignified. And epic. And volcano. Smash like. Ah. Uh. Go away. I don't want Mortal Kombat. Dang it. I like her a lot. Wait. What's her element? What's her element? Is it... Quantum. <gasps> you see... I don't have a good quantum character. I don't have a quantum character outside of, what's it called? Outside of Jing Chui. And maybe that's a good reason to pull her. The elements in this game make no sense. Um, They make sense to me. They make sense in my heart. All right, well, dang it. I'm going to try to resist, but it might not work out. But I'm pretty strong, you know. I I I resisted Kafka, I re resisted Blade. That's something. That has to that has to mean something for my discipline. All right, are we ready? Let's watch the 4.1 special program. The cam's blurry. Oh, camera. Sorry, I'm, my face is a little overexposed on the sides because I have my window is open because I need sunlight to be happy.
I muted some alerts during that, Hi. sorry. I am Fu Shwen. I see the future. Dish clips, dish tries and fails to resist Fu Shwen. <laughs> ah. Already 13 and so many more to come. I hope you enjoy your day today. Thanks, Tom. Thank you for 13 months. Uh, Myth, thank you for the 100. QQ is best girl for a reason. Amir, yep. right? So Thanks, cute. thank you for the 100. Very Dear people diary. cute. Good day rest for gall MS dish. <laughs> Sorry for being a peepo talker, but here is a joke for compensation. I asked a French person what their favorite game console was, and they said we. Less than three. All right, let's watch the program, shall we? Pause. Best part about the live stream, watching it after, is because uh, I can make this not so ridiculously big. Three years. 先让我们一起来观赏版本PV,看看新版本会给我们带来哪些精彩的内容吧。The fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, it's but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. This music is All of amazing. our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished. Something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. A mysterious box, a bottle of crimson liquid. <laughs> so, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Sooner. I'm so sorry. His voice is so nice. I just need to say that out loud. Or later, all will pay the price for their arrogance. Get a little chilly. Time's up. Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't prepared for this. If I wasn't prepared for this. Plan, what could it be? After being away from the sunlight for so long, even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. Uh, no! I have to. <gasps> Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? Femi! And now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. <laughs> yeah, where is the high boots? <laughs> I 
find it difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. I'm confident him. that we'll find the meaning of our existence one day. Rumors saying that you were born from calamity. You inherently bring danger to those around you. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? Mm. Melazines can't be trusted! <gasps> that goes for Nervalet too! There's only one thought on How my mind. You. Only through bloodshed can the debt be repaid. Risley, where did you take my siblings? Even if the truth may not be pleasant, since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. It beggars believe just how carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, have failed to take action. Who are you? What are you trying to do? Please, don't kill me! I'm begging you! Is this what justice means to you? Answer me, Nubilet! You will see much in the human world, from the delightful to the depressing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. That was so intense. That was so intense. The drama. 旅行者们，欢迎回来。不知道有没有和我一样的旅行者，每次看完新版本的 PV 啊，都会对其中出现的角色和故事非常的好奇。所以今天啊，我也依旧是邀请了项目组的小伙伴，我们的战斗设计师夜黑。来给我们介绍新版本中的相关剧情以及角色的情报。Holy moly！ 非常感谢大伟哥的邀请。旅行者们，大家好，这次会由我来向各位旅行者介绍剧情和角色的相关内容。哎，欢迎欢迎！哎，自从做完这个四点零的模式任务以后啊，我一直想知道之后的发展。嗯。趁着这次机会啊，叶黑啊，先和我们聊聊四点一版本的模式任务好了。好，先问一下大伟哥，还记得四点零相关的版本剧情吗？有印象，不过还是叶黑啊，帮我们简单回顾一下吧。没问题，我们初到枫丹时就协助林尼、纳维亚他们解决了几宗案件，但其实最后都汇聚到了一个案件上，也就是少女连环失踪案。<笑>而且在此期间，愚人众的执行官公子还有于不明的原因被审判送进了梅洛比的堡、嗯。没错，看到这里的时候，我就在想啊，被审判的可是愚人众的执行官啊，怎么看也不是一件小事，愚人众应该不会坐视不管吧？是不是会有新的执行官因此登场呢？大伟哥很敏锐啊，没错，在四点一版本中，故乡为枫丹的执行官仆人，为了处理这起外交事件，也前来与最高司令娜以及最高审判官纳维莱特会面了。Diplomatic， 这场面想想就很精彩。那是必然的，而且仆人提出的几个方案其实都被婉拒了。这么一听啊，感觉火药味很浓啊。是有那么一点，不过最终纳维莱特。还是答应派人前去梅洛比德堡确认公子的情况，这才暂且压下了这股火药味。我猜猜，所以这个任务就落到了我们旅行者的肩上，没错。<笑>为了让我们顺利融入梅洛比德堡，贴心的纳维莱特先生给我们安排了一个小小的罪名。哦，对，这里就得简单提一下梅洛比德堡的设定了，因为梅洛比德堡并不是简单枫丹监狱这一个概念。他名义上并不隶属于枫丹的司法体系，一直都是以自治的形式而存在，所以纳维莱特才需要让我们伪装成囚犯下去调查。哦、oh, ，这次潜入的任务啊，看上去还挺新鲜的。在四点一版本中呢，枫丹的魔神任务第三幕，像圣水中的晨星和第四幕浴室胎动的中烟之刻，也将会开启。旅行者需要在梅洛比德堡暗中调查一系列的事件，以及追寻公子的行踪。值得一提的是，这个过程中，旅行者会得到一些老朋友的帮助，也会遇到一些新的面孔，比如梅洛比德堡的公爵莱欧斯利，以及护士长西格文，展开一系列的冒险故事。各位旅行者们，请敬请期待呀！看起来啊，四点一版本的故事重心都是在梅洛比德堡呀。旅行者啊，如果想要在这里调查，我猜一定会与梅洛比德堡的最高负责人莱欧斯利进行一番斗智斗勇。夜黑啊！不妨具体为我们介绍一下这位公爵呢？ Wait, hold on, hold on. Who is who is Risley? 我猜一定会与梅洛比德堡的最高负责人莱欧斯利进行一番
Against the administrator of the fortress. Oh, I see. Yeah. The Duke. Yeah. 不妨具体为我们介绍一下这位公爵呢？作为梅洛彼得堡的管理人，莱欧斯利确实很有一些手段，既能照顾得到弱势的群体，也能镇得住强势的恶棍。在他上位后，实施了一系列的改革，让梅洛彼得堡运作的焕然一新。也正是因为如此，梅洛彼得堡并不是像大家所想的那样如监狱一般，甚至有一些刑满释放的罪人都不愿意离开了。听你这么一说啊，这位公爵可真是不得了啊！不过、啊。梅罗彼得堡作为全枫丹罪人的流放地啊，只有高超的管理手腕，我感觉可能不够，想必他也拥有令人信服的实力吧。没错，作为犯人的流放聚集地，梅罗彼得堡多多少少总会有一些不服从管理的犯人，这时候道理讲不通，就只能通过其他方法以理服人了。<咳>而莱欧斯利自然也不缺乏这方面的实力，由于莱欧斯利之前当过地下拳手，因此拥有高超的战斗技巧。这种战斗方式啊，倒也确实符合我对他的想象。在这种情势复杂的地方，拳头有时候<笑>搏击意味着力量的碰撞，但也常有故意卖弄破绽给对方，然后猛然回击的表现。作为一个冰元素的法器使用者，莱欧斯利的普通攻击和重击都能造成冰元素的伤害，元素战绩则会强化他的普通攻击，同时损失生命值。不过不用担心，这些损失的生命值。When Razi's HP falls below a certain amount, his next charge attack will be enhanced to become Rebuke, Vaulting Fist that deals more damage. It will not consume stamina. After hitting, will rest and after hitting will restore HP for Razi by combining his normal attacks that have been enhanced with his elemental skill. Razi can control his HP fluctuations and buff his normal attack and charge attack. How much though? <laughs> Falls below how much? Ah, <laughs>、uh, can you elaborate? Relatively low. Okay. So his HP fluctuates and buffs his normal charge attack. 人啊，我能够感受到他独特的战斗方式了。占据优势时，对敌人全面的，然后故意卖出自己的破绽，让敌人觉得有机可乘。之后啊，在危机时一发逆转，玩弄敌人。大伟哥的描述可真是生动形象啊！他的战斗方式与他的处事风格可谓十分的相似。此外，莱欧斯利也非常擅长调度资源，在合成武器突破素材时，莱欧斯利也有一定概率会获得双倍的产出。Nice， 这位公爵大人可真是多才多艺啊！管理、战斗，样样精通。真是太厉害了！没错，不过虽然莱欧斯利做事很有一套手段，但梅洛彼得堡毕竟是建立在枫丹的水下，常年见不到阳光。在监狱的阴暗角落里，依然会有邪恶在滋生。Probably where the cubes are. 莱欧斯利的传说任务《守御犬》。Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. 旅行者可以在任务中进行了解。A word of advice: Don't break the law. Is there anything else? Yeah, seriously, don't break the law. <laughs> I'm very calm. Moment, please. I'm very calm. Here, have a safe trip. <laughs> have a safe trip. Perhaps we could take a walk by a riverbank or somewhere similarly fluvial. Fluvial. Silence. Be sanctified. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know anything about his kid, really. Because how would I know anything? 四点一版本上线的另一位角色，则是枫丹的最高审判官纳维莱特。在四点零版本中，我们就已经和他打过交道了。相信大伟哥一定不会陌生吧？嗯，我对纳维莱特印象非常深刻。<笑>他在审判时啊，公正无私，而且实力非常强大，给人一种深不可测的感觉。其实枫丹的很多人对于纳维莱特的形象认知都是这样的，因此都对他十分的敬畏。纳维莱特身为枫丹的最高审判官
主持着分担关于正义的审判体系，需要维持公正的原则。不仅是在法庭之上，在日常的生活中，他也会时刻注意公众的影响。比如，他会尽量避免与他人有私交，以及有流程外的协作，防止被人怀疑司法体系的不公。他的职业要求啊，很真严格，不愧是最高审判官，严于律己啊。没错，不过这位最高审判官也没大家想象的那么严肃罢了。嗯，他其实也是有自己的爱好和生活的，比如拉维莱特就有一个品水的爱好。虽然他离开风丹。What? Water tasting? Water tasting? That's his hobby? 严肃罢了，他其实也是有自己的爱好和生活的。比如，拉维莱。I have never heard of that. Is that a real thing? <laughs> What about like wine or something? Very distinguished water water connoisseur. Yeah, he would hate Dasani. Yeah, I think he would like um. Ah,、uh, what's the super fancy water? Fuji, Fiji, Fiji water. I wonder if he would like smart water, liquid death. That's my choice. That's my, yeah, or box water, Voss. I wonder what he would think about all those overpriced water, water things. Yeah, he's a water snob. He 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 would he would scoff. He would guffaw if you gave him a Dasani water bottle. 莱特就有一个品水的爱好，虽然他离开枫丹的次数屈指可数，但是他已经品尝过来自世界各地的名品，都是从外地送过来的。而且在品完之后，他还会发表自己对各地饮用水的评价，比如他觉得蒙德的水清冽，里约的水回味悠长等等。我一直以为啊，只有茶可以这么品啊，想不到只是普通的水，纳维莱特都能品出那么多花样。It's almost like. It's almost like he has a specialty. It's almost like he has a special understanding of, of water. It's almost like he has a supernatural connection to water. How how curious! 可真是长见识了。纳维莱特既有对公的一面，其实也有对私的一面。他十分喜爱美露星，因为他们是一个善良美丽的种族。拉维莱特甚至在枫丹法规中加入了一条巧妙的法律：对美露星的称呼必须使用人格意味的“他”，而不能用“他”。没想到这位最高审判官还有这样的一面。不过美露星确实十分可爱，我十分理解他的行为。其实还有一支直接隶属于最高审判官的特别刑侦机构——足影庭。绝大多数雇员都是由美露星组成的。这倒不是因为纳维莱特天性，因为美露星们的特殊视觉。能够看到人类难以观察到的东西，能帮助纳维莱特收集各种证据进行审判。但这个特点让在毒影亭里工作的美露星们很容易受到犯罪分子的威胁。纳维莱特自然也不会对这种情况坐视不管。在四点一版本中，旅行者还可以通过体验纳维莱特的传说任务——潮涌之章，了解更多关于他的故事。哦，纳维莱特亲自出马。那这群犯罪分子可有苦头吃了。在四点零版本中，他的实力可给我留下了深刻的印象。没错，纳维莱特虽然平时并不会轻易的出手，但他过人的实力是毋庸置疑的。惹恼他绝对不是一个明智的选择。纳维莱特的攻击方式是围绕重击展开的，在一段时间的蓄力后，纳维莱特的重击将持续消耗生命值，并释放汹涌的洪流。OK， wait， hold on. The sliding back and forth is kind of funny. 明智的选择，纳维莱特的攻击方式是围绕重击展开的。嗯，呜呜。Okay, source water droplets that Nuvilet absorbs will increase the formation speed of the seal created when charging up his charge attack that will heal Nuvilet. If the seal has been formed, then a charge attack, equitable judgment will be unleashed. Dealing continuous AOE hydro in a straight line area in front of him. Okay, so he has a laser gun, cool, water gun. 
Nuvolet's elemental skill and elemental burst can both regenerate source water droplets. <laughs> That's so funny. Will consume HP. The higher the HP, the more damage. The DPS. I am surprised by the gameplay. Now, I'm glad you're streaming. Your chat is a really big safe space. I have been having a lot of issues with the video game community being toxic to me, but your streams and chat are always safe, and I wanted to say thanks for that smile. Thanks for the nine months, Birdie. Um, Medic, thank you for the 20 months. Murder Birds, thank you for the four months. Yeah, I wonder. I don't know. I, I, man. I don't know if that gameplay looks like super fun. I guess I'll have to see how it feels, but I'm kind of questioning if I want to pull for him after seeing that. Oh. Oh, hey, Wendy. Okay. 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 This one kind of looks like it's retractable or something with the like lines on the blade. Oh, yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like the AOT <laughs> weapons. It totally does. <laughs> like an exacto knife. What are those things called? What's the technical name for it? Interesting. Yeah, I I'm not sure about the gameplay for Nuvilad. I'd have to I'll have to see how it feels. But Yeah, I don't know. I think he's more of a driver than a harper hyper carry. It does look smooth, I agree. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to see how it feels when I get in there. Don't skip the intermission. Really? How come? There's stuff in it? Welcome to Fontaine NYCC 2023. Oh! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be there. Excellent, I'll make sure to go to walk to walk by. Both twins, yeah, true. It'd be good with a few characters, Beta Official, Kaza, Layla. Hmm. Will you be hyper analyzing the trailer? Um, probably not. Probably not. It all seems pretty much like a teaser. Okay, here we go. Anniversary party checklist. Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact! Erica Harlicker, voice Aww. of Venti here, wishing you a happy anniversary! Me and a few of my fellow voice actors have decided to celebrate by sharing some Genshin-inspired treats. Aww. I'll be making a Mondstadt-inspired twist on an autumn classic, Yum. an apple cider float. Oh, looks so the best good. part so about good. this recipe is that it doesn't need any fancy kitchen gadgets, so just get rid of those. All you need is a good saucepan and the ingredients listed here. <laughs> if you're a younger traveler, make sure there's an adult around to help you with this, okay? Aww, First, let's prepare our spices. Start by zesting your orange. 
Yum. Next, pour your favorite non-alcoholic apple cider <laughs> into a medium saucepan. If you don't have cider, unsweetened apple juice works just as well. Then toss in your spices along with the orange zest and set your stove to medium high. Once it starts to bubble, reduce to medium low and let it simmer for 15 minutes. I made apple cider last Christmas. You can smell the Christmas aroma of warm spices. Take it off apples. the heat and remove your spices with a fine mesh strainer and leave it to sit for another 10 minutes or until just warm enough to handle. Then pour into your favorite heat safe cup. On its own, this is a drink worth singing praises. But we're going to add a <gasps> scoop of vanilla ice cream, oh, a dollop of whipped cream, and fresh grated cinnamon, lifting it to new heights. We're using vanilla ice cream, but if you really want to let your Mondstadt spirit soar, you're free to use other flavors like cinnamon, pecan, pecan. chai spice, or even pandan. Damn, Light it looks creamy, so good. Sweet and spiced. This float is a duet of duality. Mmm, that's good. Something about seeing that makes me just it just makes me so excited for holiday season for cold season so we can't use champagne oh <laughs> cider beer oh yeah i did one uh the first holiday season of the pandemic i learned how to make butter beer like real butter beer it was so good so good Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact! <gasps> What's an anniversary I see some of my party favorite things. some warm, gooey, cheesy goodness? Hey folks, I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny. And I'm Inares Quinones, the voice of Lynette. Hey. Today, we'll be celebrating with a classic, Brie en Croute. Don't let the fancy name fool you. This dish is surprisingly easy to make. All you need is some Brie, store-bought puff pastry, and your favorite fillings. We'll be using bacon, walnuts, and apricots for ours. Oh. The full list of ingredients is right here. I saw After prosciutto. After preheating your oven, dice the bacon into small pieces. Then toss it into a pan over medium heat, cooking it until it turns crispy. Chop the nuts and dried apricots into fine pieces. Then mix them in a bowl with your crisp bacon and resist the urge to eat this stuff by itself. Next, place your puff pastry onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Cut the brie in half horizontally and place one half of your brie on top with the cut half facing up. Top the cut brie with your fruity, nutty bacon mix and top with the other half of brie. Kind of like a sandwich. If you have any extra, just lay it in a circle around your brie. Use your beaten egg wow, to coat the so pastry. Cheesy. Then fold it up over the top of your brie like you're wrapping a present. You want to completely cover the brie with no gaps in the pastry. That's so much cheese. Twist the top and pinch it shut, <laughs> removing the excess pastry dough. Finally, coat the pastry's exterior in your egg wash so and bake cheese. until it's golden brown and flaky. Yum. Cheesy, savory, and a little bit sweet, brie en croute is perfect brie for sharing. En croute. And the best part is that you can fill it with just about anything. Try it with rosemary and figs, caramelized Jeez. onion and ham, or if you're really daring, sweet chili pepper, green onion, and lob chong. Like a good magician, oh. it's versatile, elegant, deceptively simple, and best enjoyed before it disappears. Oh, that reminds me. Who's bringing dessert? Don't worry. I called in some experts. Bread, meat, and cheese. Bread, meat, and cheese is the key to life. Get a block cheese and eat it! Welcome 在四版一版本啊，除了丰富的剧情和角色啊，还有许多全新的场景区域等待着我们的探索。那么今天啊，我也有幸再次邀请到了我们的长颈美术同学阿汤哥，还有我们的长颈小美。女神长毛好，很高
，也因为这里曾发生的爆炸事故，场景设计上也是会更加的残破与凄凉。对比枫丹城的优雅精致，这里更带着一丝淡淡的忧伤。哎、嗯，确实啊，一眼望去啊，都是残破的这个遗迹啊，可以想象啊，当初的这个爆炸事故啊，是有多么惨烈。是的，相当的惨烈啊。这个场景展现爆炸后的不稳定性是一大难题。我们利用了水道这个不稳定要素去呼应水体，既满足了概念设定，也为玩家创造了进入易重力凝水体的路线。这个易重力凝水体啊，我有印象，在四点零版本的前瞻节目中有提到，好像是可以进去的，对吧？没错，旅行者们是可以设法进入其中的。而在这些易重力凝水体中隐藏的秘密，就等待大家前去探索了。<笑>话说啊，前面你提到这个叫枫丹科学院的机构啊，听上去太疯狂了吧？居然把这么大片区域都给炸掉了。是的，这些其实都源自于枫丹科学院某一次失控的实验。在长久的历史中，枫丹动能工程科学研究院一直在以曾经洗去无数生命。又总有一天会再度遮天蔽日的洪水为敌，寻找着生存的途径。而这庞大的能量能够粉碎大地桎梏的史基矿，则一度被认为是开启救赎大门的钥匙。据此，爱德温·伊斯丁豪斯生前设计了拥有抵消重力效果的实验性场力发生装置，但最终发生了事故，并未能取得应有的成效。哇这台实验性场力发生装置也因此失控，停驻在科学院的旧址某处。在旅行者们与他遭遇并陷入苦难时，记得利用他提供的失重效果进行跳跃。哇！招式，哎，他的攻击方式啊，确实和之前遇到的敌人不太一样、嗯，感觉很有意思。看来我们的战斗中啊，要多利用他的机制了。没错，耶。为了搜索关于枫丹科学院爆炸的各种情报，宇人众也来到了这一带。旅行者在这里将会遇到新的敌人——宇人众双翼人和宇人众风翼人。他们来自隶属于仆人的精锐特务组织，拥有不俗的实力，可能会给旅行者们带来不小的麻烦。嗯，看来这片新区、啊、Amazing how with just ten seconds of screen time they cleared every existing fatuity design. 行了啊，那么介绍完地上的区域。这次阿汤哥又给我们带来哪些关于水下的情报呢？自然是有的。接下来，我来再着重讲一下梅洛彼得堡，它与四点一的主线剧情十分密切。在枫丹惩治犯人的方法，就是将其放置梅洛彼得堡。这里啊、uh, ，I don't think mirror maidens are for two, are they? <laughs> are they? I don't think they are. I think they're like relationship. They are mirror maidens. Oh, I don't know why they. I thought they were just like doing their own thing. <laughs> their own agenda. Okay, not the mirror maiden. In this, can be able to attend the maintenance of life. Although I hate the mirror maidens now. Its buildings are more like tubes and pipes. 本身略带精致的工业风，也衬托着这里是个威严的地方。我们利用多种竖管道结构，并且尝试了多种排列组合，参考了一些常见的蒸汽和氪元素，提炼出属于分担水下监狱的艺术特性。想给初次到达这里的旅行者们留下深刻的印象。嗯，的确如你所说，给我留下了深刻的印象。Yeah, they're just made it. 不过，作为全分担罪人的流放场所。它内部的设施数量想必不止如此吧。在梅洛彼得堡下方，还有一处制造着各种机关的工厂，那里就是流放者们平时劳作的地方了。在继承上方区域的蒸汽管道元素的同时，设计团队围绕着重复劳作和流水线的设计语言，借鉴了多种装置艺术中运用的表达形式，在设计中。用重复的环形轨道强调着流水线式的重复感。我们将一部分环形轨道放置于厂房的顶部，视觉上巨大的矩阵环形结构也能够给人更强的压迫感。如何让这些精密的齿轮繁而不乱？我们团队也费了不少心思。能看得出来，虽然是枫丹关押犯人的场所，但我已经等不及去里面探索一番了。在梅洛彼得堡附近。
，也有不少可以自由探索的区域。这里，我向旅行者们介绍一处很隐蔽的水下洞穴。此处被史基矿所影响，产生了奇异的生态景象。Oh, 旅行者在蝉藤中穿梭时，会遇到不小的挑战。Ah, that looks like a bomb. 哎，这非常符合我对水下世界的幻想。各种神秘的区域和奇异的植被啊，总能激发我的探索欲望。不过，在这片新的探索区域，想必我们也会遇到一些新的敌人吧？大伟哥猜的没错，矗立在远海一种顶端的另一位霸主，自泡泡海马成长而来的顶尖掠食种千年珍珠巨灵，就潜藏在这片区域的某个岩窟之中。它进化出了幻兽的行姿，头部下方的异海珍珠更是浓缩了镭元素的结晶，让它能够使用更加猛烈的元素攻击。也拥有更强的防御能力。此外，在探索水下区域时，我们还会遇到执行警戒、巡弋任务的新型发条机关，旅行者们也要小心哦。感谢阿汤哥啊，听完你的讲解啊，让我对新版本更加期待了。一下子看了那么多内容啊，想必大家也有些累了，不如让我们稍作休息。接下来啊，我们还邀请了其他研发组的同学为我们带来更多的内容分享。各位旅行者，不要走开哦。I actually really appreciate the longer breaks. Happy, Happy anniversary! anniversary. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I'm Brittany Cox, or as you might know me, the princess and herself, Fischl. With me are my loyal subjects: Ben Pronsky, voice of Oz, main Fräulein, and Josie Montana McCoy, voice of Kaya. Not a subject, but happy to help, anyways. Today we'll be celebrating Genshin's anniversary by making chocolate ganache. Oh, it sounds so different. <laughs> A royally <gasps> decadent dish for such an occasion. In our princess's benevolence, we've included a list of ingredients here. First, Balls. gather your chocolate cookies in a food processor or Yum. plastic bag. Then crush them like your enemies until not but the finest crumble remains. Then mix with sugar and melted butter. Stir until you have a consistency like talk. wet sand. Firmly press your crumbs into the bottom and sides of a pie tin. Then bake in an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 Celsius for 20 minutes, or until it's dry and firm. Once the crust is cooled, coat the interior with a layer of raspberry jam. For the filling, yes, simply bring Captain. your cream to a bare simmer, then pour it over a heat-safe bowl filled with your chocolate, they along with a pinch soak. of salt and a half teaspoon of espresso powder. Ooh. Let the hot cream stand for about a minute, then stir it all together until you have a ganache as smooth as Kaya himself. <laughs> pour the ganache into your tart shell and allow it to firm up Not in the giggling. fridge before crowning it with a royal arrangement of raspberries. And for an optional flourish, try watering down some raspberry jam with a bit of lemon juice mm. or warm water until you have a thin glaze. Yum. Then brush it over your raspberries. This will lend your berries Good an tip. iridescent shimmer. While darkly regal as a certain princessin, this tart is also quite flexible. You can substitute raspberry for orange marmalade and candied citrus, or nix the jam I will and top not, with hazelnut you. praline for a treat that's perfect with coffee. Oh, I'll do that. And if you don't want to worry about slicing your tart, substitute the large pan for parchment-lined muffin tins to make perfectly portioned miniature tarts. <laughs> mm, truly a dish so fit for royalty. <laughs> Cooking now, tips. Now, who gets the first slice? <laughs> <laughs> uh, love getting told by the cavalry captain to put hazelnut praline on top of um that would actually be really fun to cook these dishes <gasps> maybe i could maybe <gasps> wait i've just had a great idea i've just had a great idea i gotta put a pin in it i gotta i gotta for a collab Collab, collab, cooking collab. Wow, they look great. I like the wrapping on his hand. I think it's cool. I always appreciate um, characters whose, at least their voicing, sounds like a normal person. That sounds kind of weird, and obviously I know there's not 
like there's a great art form to voice acting, but I really, oh, 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 another tournament. I wanna go TCG gamers. Um, I like when the way that characters speak sounds similar. It just feels more believable, you know what I mean? Like it's more, like it feels like they could be a real person. I know. I like his card backs. Those are cool. All right, next. Like slightly more realistic, and less, you know, com co uh, cartoony. I don't even. I don't even like using that word, but I think you know what I mean. Hey, was that the Intiba flower? 欢迎大家回到《原神》四零一百本的前瞻特别节目。在《原神》公测三周年之际，一月也迎来一场盛大的活动。而我们研发团队中的系统设计师也应邀来到了节目现场，为我们介绍新版本。A woman. 活动内容，来和大家打个招呼吧。A woman on the special program. 大家晚上好。Hi Helen. 我是系统设计师 Helen， 很高兴又和大家见面了，很荣幸为大家介绍新版本的活动。Helen， 听说这次在梨月举办的活动和往年不太一样啊，要不你先来为我们介绍一下？确实有些与众不同，不知道大伟哥还记不记得今年海灯节的那场饭局？当然记得，就是那场胡桃做东，温迪和钟离最有出息啊，甚至连降魔大圣萧都在场的饭局吧？那可真是藏龙卧虎。没错，这个饭局的许多细节都让人会心一笑，也让温迪和黎月的众人相识。胡桃和温迪还做下了承诺。将来有空一起写诗，这不正巧让他们逮到一个机会，由胡桃与温迪牵头，在石门附近举行了两国合办的诗歌大会，交流诗歌的同时，促进两国关系和谐友善发展。希望在诗歌中让大家感受节日的氛围。啊，我当时以为他们只是开玩笑而已，没想到他们来真的。不过，温迪作为吟游诗人，他的创作水平应该相当高啊。而胡桃的打油诗也独具一格嘛。Nice little update。不仅仅是他们，还有来自黎月和蒙德的其他伙伴也一起参加了大会，十分热闹。不过，在活动期间发生了一件奇异的事。身为参赛者的重云提出，自己之前见到了一个类似妖邪的东西。于是，众人在参加大会的同时，也开始探寻起了事件的真相。诗歌大会举办的那么隆重，想必与之相关的活动也很丰富吧？这次，我们为旅行者们准备了三个特色活动玩法哦， oh. 分别是百步理智、灵感喷击和寻景秘画。Catalyst. 在百步理智玩法中，旅行者可以投出掷剑，在限定时间内用掷剑尽可能多的命中熔壶，<笑> okay. 从而获得更高的积分。在挑战的过程中，会出现礼环和妙壶。如果投掷的掷剑穿过礼环，击中熔壶，就可获得双倍积分。妙壶则可以改变掷剑的投掷频率，帮助旅行者更高效地完成挑战。第二个活动是挑战玩法——灵感喷击。在挑战开始后，旅行者打倒敌人可以获得灵感结晶。挑战中有时会出现携带与斯元结的敌人，极为坚韧，难以击倒。灵感结晶每隔一段时间会在角色身边引发一定范围的冲击波，造成巨量伤害。如果能灵活运用灵感结晶的冲击波，或许能轻松打倒这类敌人。寻景秘画则是一个通过拍照来寻找缺失景物的玩法。哦 ，never mind。根据提示。旅行者需要帮助画作修复师，通过拍照修复画作。That's kind of puzzling. 在拍照时，将画片与当前景物对照，寻找画片上缺失的景物。找到后，即可将对应景物记录下来，并获得奖励。Okay, it's a little puzzling. 在本次油水运诗集活动中，旅行者们可以参与三个活动挑战，提升诗歌会热度，从而获取专属四星法器《无垠蔚蓝之歌》。及其专属精炼道具等丰富奖励。这次的活动还真是丰富啊，尤其是百步理智活动啊，让我想起了小时候经常玩的这个投壶游戏
，这次啊，我也可以在游戏中再体验一把了。是啊。希望这次的活动让游戏者们感受到诗歌大会欢快的氛围。于蒙。Oh, of course, because it's a catalyst. Ah,、uh, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know what I, I was like. Man, I'm not like in the middle of reading anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not sure what purpose that serves. Ah.、Uh, <音>蒙德和璃月的大家一起度过令人难忘的时光。说到蒙德，可丽又活跃了起来呢。怎么？难道可丽又因为炸鱼被秦团长抓了吗？可丽这次可不是闯祸，反而立功了。他在游玩的过程中，偶然发现国舅湖里突然出现了从水里来的新鱼类。为了维持生态平衡，骑士团需要处理这些入侵物种。在此期间。Wow, good for her. Let's go, Cleveland. Ooh. Yeah. Fish blasting. Yes. Candy Crush. This time, we also found a new species of fish. Actually, the same problems are not only with Mondo. In the forest, there are also some species that are only found in the test area. They are suddenly appearing in the forest in various depths. Travelers can use the light gathering activity to help the victims of Mondo's ill-fated murder, Ji Xiaoen, through the recovery of the forest water from the sun's warm water. 消除生态隐患并获取奖励，保护生态，还能欣赏枫丹水下风光，真是一举两得呀！是的，在枫丹苍鹰区东南侧的水岸处，我们还可以体验到挑战活动——人生的波峰与波谷。在这个挑战活动中，旅行者可以帮助枫丹研究员测试超高压传感器，通过合理把握停止增压的时机。提高超高压冲击器释放的超高压冲击波的伤害，来击败敌人。同时，旅行者可以根据出战队伍的角色数量和等级获取载客，用来装配更高等级的增益模组，挑战更高难度的敌人。在 4.1 版本中，除了常规的热斗模式更新，七圣召唤的铸镜演练也将再次开放。旅行者可以选择不同的附加条件。获取积分来领取奖励。最后，在 4.1 版本，我们还会开启精通吟咏活动。需要培养角色的旅行者们主要 Overflowing Mastery. Woo! Okay, looks similar to the stuff we've done before. 我们准备了那么多有趣的活动，看得我都眼花缭乱了，已经迫不及待想去试玩一番了。另一方面。我们也一直在关注旅行者们的日常游玩状况。随着游戏运营年份增长，一些原本看起来合理的前期和常规设计，如今却成为了旅行者们体验中的痛点。因此，我们在 4.1 版本对前期的内容设计做了部分调整。首先，我们加强了冒险等阶突破任务的提示。Adventure. 在旅行者们的派蒙见面。Adventure Ascension. Many ways to earn XP. Okay, so it's like new player information. Yeah, guides. That's nice. In the mission objective, we reduced the difficulty of the mission objective. Reduce the difficulty. Remove certain strong opponents. Um. To help new players complete the mission objective better. This is good. I don't remember the ascension quest being hard. I mean, the whole point is that they make the ascension quests are there to make sure you can like survive in the new area, right? Hmm. Okay. I feel like it wasn't hard. You skip my arse handed to me with a pyro for two agents. They just fight the cube. 
I'm not a new player, so I guess I don't care. Yeah, it really doesn't, re it doesn't really affect me, I suppose. So congrats, congrats, new players. Easy for you. Easy, easy for you. Oh, must have gotten a lot of complaints then. Oh. 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 So they changed it so that you don't have to do the commissions. You can just like kind of play the game and that will cause that will allow you to like claim your primos. That's good. That's good. I'm I'm glad for that. <laughs> it's about time actually. <laughs> Great. Gosh, I'm sick of certain commissions. At least in some regions. The HSRification of Genshin. Love that. Love that. So about eight in total? No, it's only four. It's same same as Genshin, like or same as uh, Star Rail. You don't have to do the daily daily mission, but you can do other stuff. Basically means you have more like you might accidentally do your like encounter points rather than just like doing the actual quests. I'm sick. Yeah. I mean, if you get, like, if you get the same commission, that's like a, like, in Sumeru, I used to get the, the one where you water the rose. I've done that quest line, like, probably five, six times. And now, theoretically, if you see that, you'd be like, oh, I don't want to do that one. So, you can do the encounter point stuff. No, you can't do both. It says max four. <笑>可以继续去完成这些委托历练点将在服务器时间每天的凌晨四点清零太棒了我很早就喜欢有类似的东西当开启新区域或者活动时啊总感觉要是功能啊我在体验其他内容的同时啊还能够获得委托奖励
Last year was 10 poles plus three poles. Are you sure? Because didn't we get, didn't we get like Primo gems in the mail? I remember getting like 400 and then 300 and then 400, something like that. Yeah, I think last year was 20 as well. <laughs> Genshin's too popular for us to get too much in-game rewards. Teshman, thank you for the 15. You could also consider that the, um, like the Lantern Rite in-game rewards, like those do give a lot of primos, so... The patch itself is Prima Gem heavy, but yeah, just like straight up anniversary gifts is kind of. Kind of shrug. HSR has login tickets because it doesn't have as much overworld exploration. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. Yeah. Wait, is this Lantern right? This is the lantern, right? Maybe I'm getting confused because we're in Liyue, but there's a big, a lot of rewards. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, why are we in Liyue? I, maybe I missed it. Oh, poetry event. Right. Okay. That's why they talked about that forever. Okay. It's kind of, it's still getting lantern right vibes. I enjoy the amount of free stuff Genshin gives us, like full concerts and pop events. True. True, I do appreciate that as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel, I don't feel like particularly upset, but. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, Lantern Rite is point 0.4. You're right. You're right. I, th I got I got confused because we're in the we just make daily commission locked world quest not reset if you get the commission again Papu also your exploration is the primo gym rewards compared to HSR thank you for the hundred and yes I would also like that Tashpan thank you for the 15 uh Raven thank you for the hundred beats yeah yeah, I'm not upset, but I would have liked to see a little bit ex a little bit more for the three year. But... It's kind of shrugged. It's stingy. <gasps> oh, what? Perlita. Oh my gosh, cute! One ton of dog food to our partners. Help feed thousands of dogs. <laughs> I had no idea this was happening. <laughs> oh, sweet. Pop. I can't wait till we get a house. Or till we buy a house so we can get a dog. When are we gonna be able to pet dogs, though, huh? Huh? Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact! My name is Ben Balmaceda, and hey. as the voice of Kave, I'm always looking for better ways to integrate artistic expression and practical functionality. I'm so happy to be celebrating the three-year anniversary of Genshin Impact. We know fans are celebrating worldwide, but what's a party without decorations? Well, inspired by the enchanting landscapes of Tibet, <laughs> here's of a course. fun and functional craft that can really add a mystical vibe to a celebration in a matter of minutes. <laughs> if you have any mason jars lying around, they can easily Five be transformed into Kave. fantastical yet functional lanterns. 
All you need is some small battery powered LED lights, art supplies, and some creative thinking. Decorate the glass with glitter for a nebula jar, or make your own designs inspired by the world of Tevat with colorful paper, paint, string, or even maple leaves. And place the LED lights, like a battery powered tea light or fairy he light, inside the mason jar. <laughs> The light will pass through the different shapes and colors to give it a unique and enchanting glow. Thanks, Kave. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And the fun doesn't stop there. Jenny has another DIY project Jenny. that can add a lot of color to any Genshin-themed celebration. Jenny. Ain't that right, Jenny? Hey, that's right! I'm Jenny Okabori, wishing all the fans and players a very happy third year anniversary. Well, as the voice of Yoimiya, you know I have a soft spot for colorful, bursting light displays. And we can easily make our own decorations by turning the average balloon into explosive <laughs> slides. All you need is a couple of colorful balloons, confetti, and some art supplies. Take your deflated balloon and fill it with either homemade or store-bought confetti. Taking notes. A funnel can really come in handy here. Although I will not be Next, doing this. Next, use a balloon pump to inflate the balloon. Regular air allows them to bounce around the room, but if you want a floating Copious animal notes, slime, you'll need to use helium. <laughs> Teach us how Shake to make fireworks into a sphere here. by letting out a little air. Big ones. And tie off the end. Then, go ahead and add some white eyes and any other details you'd like to give the slime a personality. You can use white paint or paper for these eyes. Now, not only do you have some fun slime balloon decorations, How cute. but when they pop, they'll explode in a burst of colorful confetti condensate. <laughs> balloons when you and kill them. decorations can level up any Genshin party as we celebrate this three-year achievement. I look forward to seeing what you create. Cheers, G. Cool. Wow. Amazing. Welcome回来。在今天这个特色的日子, 坐在我身边的呢是大家老朋友Michael 那这些数据背后是不是有什么故事啊？大伟哥猜对了，每个数字背后啊都有着元神研发团队持续的付出和深厚的感情。接下来就让我们看看第一组数据吧。哦，一千多万啊，这可是个大数字啊！Dollar spent in the last two weeks on Genshin Impact. 在游戏内外创作的叙事文本总字数，我们游戏中的提瓦特大叔的架空世界，这里汇聚了各种文化、创意、艺术。从零开始构建他的世界观并不容易，《原神》IP创作团队的同学以自身热情与才华，铸就了
，但它也是我们和旅行者一路走来的证明之一呢。Seventy-four characters. 七十四，比起第一个数字啊，这个数字是有点小的。哎，不对不对 ，Michael， 你说这是我们跟旅行者一路走来的见证，那它一定是一个随着版本累积下来的数字，对不对？大伟哥已经快要猜到了。其实啊，这是直到四点一版本为止，包括刚才我的同事介绍的纳维莱特、嗯、原神以及向旅行者推出的角色数量。没想到啊，在不知不觉间啊，我们已经邂逅了那么多的这个角色伙伴。不过啊，谈起原神啊， so、游戏中性格迥异的角色确实被大家津津乐道。没错，一个引人入胜的开放世界，角色是必不可少的。原神中的每一个角色都有着独特的背景故事和情感世界。通过对话、剧情和任务呈现， Ba-ba-da. 旅行者能够更加深刻的了解角色。这种情感共鸣不仅让旅行者与角色建立起情感联系，也为游戏增添了更多层次的情感体验，使整个游戏世界更加丰满和有趣。I would love to know how much has been spent on top-ups. I would love to know. 每个角色都拥有独特的战斗技能和神之眼元素。Gaia. 这不仅丰富了游戏的战斗策略。也为旅行者们提供了更多的选择。Why do they show starters? 呃，正因为这些角色伙伴啊，才让皮瓦特大陆的世界增色不少，使得游戏啊不仅仅是简单的战斗派对，更像是一场情感丰富的冒险之旅。哎，那么让我们看看下一个数据吧。Two fifteen. Enemies. 之前的两个数字啊，我觉得自己是肯定猜不出来的。Michael， 快为我们公布答案吧。其实这个数字还有一个单位。二百一十五 G， 它指的是截止四点一版本游戏内所有最高精度美术的资源总量。Oh my gosh！ 二百一十五 G 啊，大小是有点吓人的。Michael， 你给我们讲讲背后的故事吧。Mobile players know about that number。可能大多数旅行者不太能判断这个数字所代表的工作量。原神是一个依赖卡通渲染、营造幻想氛围的游戏，这就意味着几乎所有的写实类素材，包括照片修改的贴图。真人动物的动画都是没有办法直接应用到游戏中的。这二百一十五 G 的美术资源是《原神》的原画师、建模师、动画师、特效师等同学们经过精心构思和实地取材，然后重新亲手制作出来的。是啊，有的时候我晚上路过美术同学的工作区啊，发现有些同学还在工作，还挺过意不去的。但同学们这么辛苦啊，平时还是会非常自豪的给我转发。他们最近拍的新场景啊，新角色，就像是介绍自己的孩子一样兴奋。Questionable working conditions, OK？ 大家非常努力创作的同时，也需要考虑到玩家的设备是否能承载这样庞大的资源量。所以，我们的技术团队面对如此规模的资源，也是付出了相当大的精力，对不同的设备、不同平台进行性能评估和分级，对资源进行不同等级的精度拆分和管理，优化加载和包体构建策略。其实最近我们看到不少的旅行者留言，觉得枫丹版本的包体占用空间就是太大了。对此，我们也是深知做的还不够，之后会进一步探索其他的优化手段，给大家带来更好的体验。辛苦各位研发的同学。OK， they're working on it. 刚才我们看到的是《原神》游戏内的一些有趣数字，那么接下来这组数字就跟屏幕前的各位有些关系了。Players. <gasps> No way! A hundred million downloads. This number, I have some thoughts. Michael, you just mentioned that with the screen before the players, I guess is the attendance of the World Star players. Oh, that's right. The attendance of the World Star players has exceeded the attendance of the World Star players. Oh, social media followers. Good. But honestly, I guess I guessed wrong. But this number is very surprising. A hundred million rewards. At the time of the launch, we might not have thought it would reach such a high level today. 有那么多的旅行者走上了皮瓦特的大路。I follow them everywhere, so I count for at least ten followers. 与我们共同创造美好的回忆。是的，这个数字是旅行者们对我们原神团队的认可，也是最好的回报。同时，也督促我们不能懈怠，因为我们承载着旅行者们的期望。Ten million pulls for this. <laughs> Four billion. 这个数字让我看得有点懵啊。实在是过于庞大了，我随便猜猜啊，这是不是播放量或者点赞数什么的？看来大伟哥对这类数据啊特别的敏锐
这是《原神》发布的官方视频内容，在全网社区的总播放量，目前已经达到了四十亿次。其实，在这些内容创作的过程中，遇到了非常多的困难。如何更好的把游戏内容通过视频形式展示给大家，并不是一件容易的事情。每当创作同学觉得疲惫或者没有灵感的时候，看看各位旅行者在评论区对内容的支持，就又会充满干劲了。The 结果也是如此。只要我们创作出优质的内容，我们就一定会获得回报。是啊，旅行者的支持和热爱。正是我们创作的动力啊！接下来，让我们分享最后一组数据。Genshin Impact's international distributor made 3.8 billion in 2022. 已经到了这个环节的最后，我就不卖关子了。开服至今，《原神》官方每个版本都会举行相关的视频二创活动。这个数字是目前全网参与的总人数，迄今为止已经达到了一千一百五十万了。嗯。有趣的是啊，这个大数字啊，一点都不让我意外。其实啊，原神能够取得今天的成果啊，光靠我们研发团队肯定是远远不够的。各位旅行者提供的优质二创内容， yeah. 让原神在游戏之外的地方也散发着热情光彩， yeah. some respect on fan artists. 营造了良好的讨论氛围。这份美好也传递给了更多的小伙伴，加入到提瓦特的冒险中啊。是啊，其实这些只是参与了视频二创活动的人，还有许多其他内容形式的二创。I don't know why people are expecting more rewards at this point. Um, questionable. There's a lot of answers to that question. Hey, fan-made content. That's me. Content creators. CC mention. 虽然未能计入，但依旧感谢你们的支持。好的。那感谢 Michael 为我们带来的数据啊，也希望以上的数据能让旅行者们对原神项目组的研发团队有更加深入的了解。那接下来的时间，我也希望可以和旅行者们继续携手前行，共同创造更加精彩的回忆。那么接下来将为大家呈上第三则兑换码，让我们稍后再见。He knows Jake. That's one one degree of of um separation. So maybe. I'm in the special program. <laughs> I thought they meant you submitted art and stuff. I know. I think they had a couple different mentions. Well, maybe they did. I don't know. They said fan. They said fan. They said fan created videos. Whatever. Let me have this, okay? Um. Hi, Farina. Oh, all the archons together. How cute. No, I'm pretty sure there's conflict between them, but whatever. We'll just accept this beautiful art and move on. We accept the art and say thank you. 欢迎大家回到四点一版本的前瞻特别节目。在新版本啊，除了游戏内丰富多彩的内容啊，我们也准备了一些游戏外的内容给大家带来分享。没错，今天我还给大家带来了《原神》的交响音乐会最新情报。二零二三年九月到二零二四年一月期间，我们将在亚洲、美洲、欧洲的十一座城市举办音乐会。首站将于九月二十九日和九月三十日在上海梅赛德斯奔驰文化中心举行，欢迎世界各地的旅行者前来体验。I am going to the LA one. 音乐会主题的系列周边已经在《原神》旗舰店等官方店铺开售，有兴趣的旅行者不妨看看哦。啊 ，Mer， 啊哇哇哇哇 ，Go back。哦 ，OK， hold on one poster, photo card, bolo tie. What's that? I don't know. Tags, acrylic standees, pins, and T-shirts. I will have one of each. Thank you so much. Wow, these shirts are so beautiful. I just want to go to the club. Actually, there are many music shirts. I've seen a lot of food. I think it's very exciting. But in different countries, because of the production and production, the availability of shirts is very different. In many countries, there is a shortage of shirts or a shortage of shirts. This also brings up the actual sight. Including a silly light stick. No way. 大家如果感兴趣的话，可以关注官方社媒账号，了解更多关于音乐会的详细信息。除此之外，后续游戏内也会上架音乐会礼包、侠音异奏
，礼包内含有原始名片、风之翼以及家具摆设。I'm sorry, don't just fly by that. 不感兴趣的话，可以关注官方社媒账号，了解更多关于优惠的详细信息。除此之外，后续游戏内也会上架优惠礼包、侠音异奏礼包内。Okay, concert bundle will be available. Does that that means it's not free, right? I wonder if it means you have to buy it. They look sick though. They are a different shape than the other wings. Pay to win wings. Sorry, guys. Glider, name card, and furnishing. Show name card. Show name card. Show name card. 自从四点零前瞻节目啊，我们发布了枫丹交响音乐的现场，就收获了不少好评。Pay to win， 许多旅行者都等着枫丹专辑上架。不瞒大伟哥，其实我已经循环了好多遍了。而今天带来的下一则情报，正是关于枫丹音乐专辑的。随着旅行者们不断探索枫丹的步伐，我们的枫丹音乐也一直陪伴在大家冒险的旅途之中。四点一版本期间。我们将发布《枫丹》第一张 OST 专辑《白鹿彻鸣之泉》。专辑共有四张分碟，收录了 Hoyo Mix 音乐团队为《原神》的枫丹地区创作的原声音乐。Are they gonna bring up Yu Ping Chen? I wonder. 大伟哥，你印象中最深的枫丹音乐是哪一首呢？我最喜欢啊一首枫丹的战斗音乐啊，每次听的时候都舍不得结束战斗。我也很喜欢呢。枫丹的战斗音乐展示了枫丹华丽的城邦特色。我们为枫丹音乐专辑也准备了一支华丽的宣传 MV， 一起来看看吧。Music video。Oh, the slime! It's back. Wow. Love the lighting in this. It looks so glowy. So many instruments. <gasps> yeah. How oh, cool. <laughs> This is a banger.
a long song. I swear I haven't. I have only ever heard the first like 30 seconds of this song. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've definitely never heard past the first maybe 50 seconds of that song. It's kind of banger. The whole thing? Flamingo. Say Flamingo. Flamingo. We will get a redemption code. <laughs> That's like extra pay to win, but you know, still I'll take it. Seventy dollars. <laughs> Yeah, I think the concert tickets that I got were like 75, 80. So honestly, not bad. Not bad. I think, yeah, there was like ticket fees and stuff, but the base price of the concert ticket was much lower than I expected. Ace reporter on the case. Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact. This is Maya Aoki Tuttle reporting. Of course, you might know me as Charlotte, ace reporter. And with the upcoming anniversary, I've decided to put my journalistic skills to the test. And what better way than to get the scoop on the voice artist for some of our favorite characters? Therefore, ace reporter Maya is on the case. With me are my co-hosts, Damon Mills and Inaris Kinones. Greetings. Hey, everybody. The world of Tavat sports a diverse cast, so let's hear about what all the talent has to say. For those that live too long, the friends of days gone by and scenes from their adventures live on in their memories. As such, I have no regrets in meeting you, friend. Should the day ever come that we are not together, my you will line. continue to shine like gold in my memories. Thanks, Hello, everyone. Keith. My name is Keith Silverstein. I voice the Geo Archon Zhang Li. Yeah, you do. Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact. I want to take a second to thank everyone who had a part in bringing Genshin Impact to life. And I mean everyone. Uh, no matter how large or small your role in bringing this game to life has been. And that includes the entire Genshin Impact community, which is amazing that I could even just say that. It's a very special thing when a game comes out and is so popular community. that an entire community is born alongside it. And so long as it's bringing this much joy to the world, long may it rain. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alejandro Saab, and I am the voice hey. of Sino in Genshin Impact. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? I'd like to thank the Academy. No, <laughs> no I'm all serious. No, seriousness. Um, <laughs> I'm grateful to be a part of this game, and uh, Genshin going on for three years. So I've been a him. fan, and this last year, getting to be a part of it was super, like, just super humbling, super... Uh, I, I'm at a loss for words because Sino was the character when I first saw him in the Tavat trailer. I was like, dang, I'd really like to play that guy. That'd be That's so, so cool. cool. And it, it happened. And it it was just so cool. And I He doesn't know what to say. <laughs> it just makes me really happy again to the opportunity to be this guy. Uh, everybody thinks I've been saying terrible jokes now because of Sino, but that's not true. I started saying terrible jokes because of my partner and uh, my friends around me. I could say one right now. Uh, hello, I'm Sean Dury, and I play Baiju. Excellent. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? Well, happy Baiju. anniversary to Genshin Impact, and I just want to thank everyone who's been off. playing the game and enjoying <laughs> the game. That's really why we make it, so you can have fun playing it. So thank you so much for being a part of it. My favorite Genshin memory of the past year was Baiju Genshin becoming Impact. a playable character. That was so exciting to go from someone you kind of stopped in and chatted with for a second to someone who is going on a quest and saving the day. So that's absolutely my favorite memory of the past year. 
If only it happened sooner. Hey there, my name is Nazi Tarsha, and I play All Hate Them in Genshin Impact. Hey. What is your favorite story from the past year? The infamous traitor, traitor, azar, anger scene that All Hate Them has, uh, just because it was really fun seeing the reception to that. <laughs> and it was very fun recording, <laughs> uh -huh. you know? It's... All Hate Them is very reserved, very kind of to himself. So having this one moment where he breaks character, putting on an act, of course, but still like showing more emotion than anyone has ever seen him Trier! do was very fun to kind of go into. In terms of the game, the thing that I want to say is congratulations for going, you know, three plus years strong. The, the world that they've managed to build is nothing short of impressive mm. and also, seeing the sort of fans' admiration toward the game mm -hmm. is, you know, nothing short of delightful, really, because there is just such an enthusiasm and such yeah. a passion with the fan base. So seeing this sort of relationship between the two is endearing, and the fact that I get to, you know, kind of share in both of these experiences is awesome. Hey, what's up? I'm Zach Gordon. Yay! I am the voice of Tainari. The only voice if ever. If I have one anniversary message, it's... I can't wait till the next year and the year after that, and I hope to be around for uh, as long as we all enjoy the game. So thank you. What is something you like or admire about your character? Funny. One thing that, if I may say so myself, I, I feel like we worked really hard to do well, was his ability to care about Kale. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of people that really know what they believe in and, and feel that they're very intelligent, quote unquote, I think sometimes the ego can get in the way of that. And one mm. thing that I really admire about Tainari mm. is that he's able to put that aside and, and really focus on what matters, mm. which is being able to articulate and, yeah. and translate yes. what he knows and pass it on to uh, a student or an apprentice, mm. somebody like Kale. And so I think to sum it all up, compassion. Yeah. I think Tainari is a very compassionate individual. He knows. We certainly tried our best to infuse that into the role. Big time. Wow, very knowledgeable. My name is Ben Balmaceda. I voice Kave. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? After seeing Genshin when it first came out, <laughs> I had no doubt that it was good. <laughs> Hoyverse does not like when you say Genshin. They really don't like it. I, I've been corrected in the past on official Hoyo Productions for saying Genshin, because they want you to say Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. Gonna be something special and it was gonna stand the test of time. There's so much potential to be had in Tevat and like so Genius many new people to TCG. meet and, and places to explore and travel to. The game's just a gem. And like, as far as people that have helped me get this far, like I just wanna thank all my friends that are part of the cast, all the Sumeru, Krumeru, um, and also to all the fans, like they've been so lovely and welcoming and it's such a lovely community. It's just been a wonderful journey and I hope that it continues uh, far past the horizon. Oh. What's up? My name Patrick. is Patrick Pedraza. I'm the voice of Scaramouche, the Balladeer, Wanderer, Hackguy, a man of many names. Well, three years, man, that's a long time. It's wholesome. <sighs> I have no idea what the future's gonna bring for the game, for me, but I'm just, like, I don't wanna sound cliche, but I'm really super grateful to be part of this. What is your favorite story from the past year? Oh, my favorite, my favorite scene, oh gosh, there's so many. Uh, it's like the boss battle. It's the, like. When I first saw the <laughs> boss battle, when I was doing the session, I was like, this is gonna be insane. And the, the boss battle theme, oh my gosh, that was just like insane. But then insane. I was like, oh my gosh, I saw the end and then Scaramouche just goes straight on his head, looking right at you, poof. Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of sad, but it was kind of a, that was my favorite one. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Hi, I'm Anyatko. I voice Hi. Raiden Shogun and A and Makoto and a handful of NPCs. I can't believe that Genshin Impact has been going on strong for three years, and we've got plenty more to go. I met in actually. I'm so excited for what the future holds for Tevat. She came I'm over and said just hi. starting to explore Fontaine and getting through the Fontaine the Arc Conquest, nook. and it is so 
so much fun so far. And I just really want to thank the fans, all of the travelers who have been on this journey with us for the past three years. None of this would mean anything without you guys. So thank you for playing. Thank you for loving this game. What's one of your favorite character lines? Okay, I get asked this a lot. And the answer is the about Ito line. <laughs> Who? <laughs> I just think it's so funny how in one word you get to know exactly what Raiden Shogun thinks of the one and only Arataki Ito. That never fails to make me laugh. Ooh. Hi, my name is Kimberly Ann Campbell, and I'm the voice of Nahida, the Dendro Archon in Genshin Impact. What was your favorite memory of the past year? Um, okay, so there mm. are a lot, and no surprise, there are a lot to do with Nahida. But I would say that one of my favorite memories from last year would have to be when Nahida's trailer dropped. She has two trailers, but the one in particular that comes be to so mind surreal. is the one where she's going through her birthday over and over yeah. again. And it starts off as happy, and then it's like, oh, okay, it's still kind of happy, but then it gets really dark and like really depressing. And even though it's like a really sad video, it was like, super well done and i was like oh my gosh this is so good and like seeing everybody's reactions to it like i've watched like a ton of reactions from like streamers youtubers it was like just amazing to see everybody's reaction to it i could not wait for it to come out i'm glad it turned out as well as it did well there you She's have it looking. folks straight from the mouths of some of our favorite characters it's <clears throat> Isn't there someone you've forgotten? Two someones, to be exact. Oh, 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 oh I, I was totally about to get to you guys, I swear. Right, that's what I thought. Streamers, huh? Can you give us a short intro? My name is Damon Mills, and I voice Linny, the greatest magician in all Tibet. Is there anything you want to say to the community Hello, about your character? I think Linny and Lynette's story is quite fascinating because oh, they're hear both it. <laughs> incredibly fun characters and... All about razzle dazzle, but oh, razzle -dazzle. the collective past is so dark and painful. Hmm. I mean, they both mask it really well, particularly Linny, who appears front facing very confident, but he's burdened by his ties to the Batui, growing up as an orphan, kind of acting as a parent to his siblings. Hmm. I feel like he was forced to grow up really fast, and yeah. I guess I can relate to that. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? I still remember when Genshin first came around, and I thought it was the neatest concept. I know this game has gotten so many people through so much stuff, and I'm really excited to finally be a part of it in such a big way. It's really special to me, and I can't wait to see where the rest of the game goes. My name is Anaris Kinanis, and I am the voice of Lynette, and I actually adore cats, so this is a true honor. Is there anything you want to say to the community about your character? Yeah, uh, Lynette, Lynette is really fun for me because, you know, she is the, the deadpan kind of, I guess, emotionless character archetype, but we did try to elevate her from that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really fun uh, trying to, you know, keep that feel, that base feel of her being deadpan, but also adding enough nuance so that she is an interesting character. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? Yeah, three years, that's crazy. Um, I'm very excited. I'm excited to see future characters. I'm excited to see more Fontaine um, and more Lynette, of course. Uh, Voice and nice. um, yeah, I wanna thank you guys for being so supportive and stuff. Um, it's, uh, it's been a blast and I can't wait to see you guys Enjoy the rest of it. There you have it, folks. For real this time. This is Ace Reporter Maya signing off. Hello, 从原神上线至今
，体验到更多的乐趣。嗯，在未来的日子里，我们将继续坚持这一理念，无论是新的角色、新的剧情，还是新的玩法，我们都将以更加饱满的热情，为大家带来更多惊喜与挑战。最后，再次感谢各位旅行者的支持与鼓励，让我们在四等一版本不见不散。Uh, no anime updates. It's okay. Da -na -na -na, da -na -na -na. What's he drawing? Oh, sweet. <laughs> wholesome. Wow, I can't believe it's been three years. It's kind of weird. It's really weird, actually. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was cute. The the I mean I know voice actors get their their like popularity oh, skyrockets when they end up voicing a, a Genshin Impact character, or really any character from the Hoyaverse game. The series is or the games are so well loved. Uh, yeah, happy three year anniversary, guys. Happy three years together for some of you. <laughs> no Chi Chi emotes. <laughs> I can't think, I don't know if anyone was like hoping for a Chi Chi emote, but yeah, I guess not. I guess not. And that, Jerry. Hmm. Dear Diary. Isn't it crazy that the only time we can use the Genshin combat system effectively is only in the Spiral Abyss? Like what's the point of making all of these interesting character kits and meta when it can only be used in Spiral? And the worst part is that Hoyaverse is trying to make the combat easier and easier and saying it's anxiety. The only thing they are not wasting is their lore cause it was planned seven years in advance. Sag. Okay, way to be negative. Um, hats off to you, Paralysis. Thank you for the 100 bits. I do hope for more more combat, consistent combat challenges in the future, but... Yeah. Can't we enjoy things? Yeah, maybe I understand your point, but, like, can you not drop the vibes at this specific moment? Anyway. Um... Lots about the a good portion of that live stream was just about the like the anniversary like commemoration. Um, watch JP stream. <laughs> Why do you want me to spend another hour and twenty minutes watching the JP stream? <laughs> uh, um. I'm still laughing at the fact that they cut Alejandro. Yeah, that was great. Was about to say a joke. That was great. Mm, that was hilarious. Hi, Ken. Thank you for the hundred minutes. <laughs> Alex, thank you for the prime, the ten month or the five months of prime. Um, as far as font, as far as like the actual patch goes, it seems like the the Archon quest is going to be the biggest component and then the new exploration which is already they, they was probably almost ready to explore as of one or 4.1 but was just being polished essentially the trailer was super intense yeah i kind of want to watch that again um the events are kind of whatever like nothing 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 really new about the events other than the, where was it? The Klee one with the, I, I hope that the puzzles are, I, I don't have high expectations necessarily for the gameplay part because it's probably going to be like a, you know, you've got 10 maps and then it's over. Um, but the trailer looks super hype, super, super hype. I, I kind of want to watch it again. And I kind of want to watch it again and like pause a little bit because I was I was just like too wrapped up in it, you know. 
Happy anniversary. She who must not be named evil dish will join us for the festivities. Uh, yeah, with the top of resets. Absolutely. Take a more analytical approach to this one. Crazy exciting trailer. <laughs> Fantastic intro. <laughs> Adorable. Adorable. I know we're in prison, but still, that's cute. The fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. Gathering place for exiles. Hmm. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress. It seems like there could be some, like, under, under, under the radar collusion within the, the castle. Is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. All of our informants, including the yeah, ones okay. that infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished. Okay. Something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? Mysterious box, crimson liquid? So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. <laughs> so good! I'm sorry. I was not expecting to like his voice so much. Sooner or later, all will pay the price for their arrogance. Time's up. Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. Negotiations. Negotiations within the castle? Or within the fortress, rather? Wait, you don't think that was his voice? Really? Even about the going under the... Don't go in the pipes? Don't go near the pipes at night. The pipes was his voice. That wasn't him. Wait. They should give that. They should give the pipes speaker a, a playable character. Truth is. Time's up. Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. Pay the price for pipes that make strange sounds. That's not him. Don't ever, ever go near them at night. That's not him. No. Oh my gosh, they should give that speaker a voice actor. I mean, what? They should give that speaker a playable character. Dreams crushed. Hello, leftovers. <laughs> NPC? Ugh. Boo. And now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. I'm confident that we'll find the meaning of our existence one day. Rumors saying that you were born from calamity. You inherently bring danger to those around you. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? Melazines can't be trusted! That goes for Nervalette too! Nervalette. There's only one thought on my mind. Only Innocent. through bloodshed can their debt be repaid. Rightly. Where you don't know whose voice that is either. 
even if the truth may not be pleasant. Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. Okay, whose voice is that? Who's talking? Because that's nice. Nergelet. Nervalet. I, but I don't think that that sounds the same as the pipe NPC, the person who was talking about the pipes. It's clearly Chad doesn't know. <laughs> Everyone's giving a different different answer, so I'm going to assume that you guys do not know. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll all find out together. Some people are just discovering that they're wrong. <laughs> it beggars believe just how carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, have failed to take action. Who are you? What are you trying to do? Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. Hmm. Is this what justice means to you? Answer me, Nubilet! Thanks a lot of... Hierarchical you will see conflict much in the human world, from the delightful to the depressing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. It's like Nuvillet has a big, um, big burden on his shoulder. It was just enough information to interest me, but not enough to give me anything to, like, chew on, <laughs> necessarily. Why is it raining? Why is it still raining? The chat, I, the screen I repeat, the screen is beautiful. It is. It is beautiful. I have to agree with you. They often miss Archon quest voice lines and cutscenes with story voice lines and cutscenes. I think Farina's making a scene in the don't kill me. Yeah, I kind of feel like the don't kill me is just, is like a, she's not necessarily actually in danger. But there are people who are upset with her for not acting, so. According to JP, that's Farina talking to Nuvillet. Oh, really? Dang it, Hoyo! It's so, so secretive. Dear diary. All I know is that I want Nuvillet to do some of his water tasting in his story quest so we can hear him say so. <laughs> this is excellent. <laughs> nice. Great thought. I'm excited. That's really That's really all I can say about it. I'm definitely anticipating understanding who all of these characters are. It's the Narcissian Kreutz notes scattered around. God, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I do, but not really. Part of me wonders if Farina is truly in danger because Archons, eh, Archons aren't exactly impervious to fatal danger. It's true. It probably depends who, who she's talking to. Narvalet. Nervalet. Nervilet. Nervalet. <laughs> I'm, I, yeah. I'm actually so sad. That the pipe VO is not Risley. 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 Because that's what kind of made me want him. I like the way he talks. Farina dodges every dual challenge, so she might be in danger. Yeah. Yeah. I also, part of me kind of wonders if he's not, if, if she's not who she says she is to some extent. It's him watch the JP stream. Oh. 
How can you tell? How can you tell?君たちに偽の罪状を用意するので。ルールが多く存在するのさ。手配した偵察員だけじゃなく、潜入させた島でもがみんな跡形もなく消えて、音信不通になってる。3日目の昼ご飯の時に悪いことが起こるんだ。
Everybody good? What's happening? <gasps> I never turned on closed captions for stream today. Sorry, guys. Especially for hard of hearing folks. Very rude of me. What happened to the old room? The old room. What do you mean by that? Old room. You mean like where I used to, where I used to live? This is a shocking answer. I moved. I know, not accessible. Not accessible of me. <laughs> no way, no way, no way. <laughs> Shocking and shocking turn of events. <laughs> Finally, a real twist twist of events. <laughs> Although I moved a while ago. I think I moved almost two years ago. I thought you just redecorated the place. No. I moved in right around my birthday. My birthday in 20... <gasps> my wizen. My wizen. My wizen. Um... Can I just condense? Yes, I can. Excellent. Where is she going? 32. 32. Thank you, Cheyenne. I was just thinking of you today. <laughs> because I have a note from you that's next to my wall. And, or that's on my wall. And I was like, I haven't seen Cheyenne in a while. And here you appear. Not the wasn't cop. <laughs> oh no. Add Astra. Rue. Okay, so the last thing that happened in this quest was uh we brought back the instrument to the rider and she was like, um, or, or we tried to and it was gone, it was missing. That's all I know. No, with some cup, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um, Octave of Mashiro, yes, this. Octave of Mashiro. Yeah. Oh no, my missing cop. Thoughts on the Heavenly Principles getting involved in 4.1? Dan says if she ever if she, even if she knows not to make the enemy of the divine, is it possible that she will show up for Farina? That would be nuts. That would be actually nuts if that happened. I feel like we're not, oh man. I would love to see a reappearance of the primordial one, but I don't think it's going to happen. As well. I don't know. I feel like Celestia is so far away. Celestia, Heavenly Principles, Primordial One, Dragons. I don't know. I would love that, but I don't know if it's going to happen. <clears throat> really now, asking me to walk all this way. This wasn't about a one in a once in a century find. Ugh, we've only walked a few steps away from the Banten Sango storefront, haven't we? It's not a storefront. Huh? Banten Banten Sango is my house of wisdom. The words come the world comes to Banten Sango, not the other way around. 
There it is. Number seven of the lines that President Sango wishes she could say someday. But since cases tend to come to her, she never has the chance to say it. I don't know what the heck you are all are talking about. Hey, you don't have to say that much, Ryuji. Ryuji. Anyways, regarding Surumi Island. Ah, so you're here. Let me introduce you. This is the renowned traveler. So this is the legendary traveler. And I'm legendary too? No, no, no. Anyways. The reason I asked you, everyone here, is to exchange information about Surumi Island. My latest work is to unravel the secrets of the island. It seems that we could count on you after all. Agreed, you certainly do have good judgment, being able to pre prevent Miss Samita from going off topic like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, to get back to the point, out of all the people affected by the incidents relating to uh, Mashiro that should have been found gone missing, I was only able to find the detective from Bantansango and Mr. Rold. Yes, we are aware of the request alongside the unrealistic plot lines of several different light novels, as well as the narrative you are currently working on. It is also true that we were unable to successfully retrieve the Mashiro. Well, I'll solve that mystery for you. Ryuji must have misplaced it. No, not at all. I didn't lose my way. I did lose my way many times after arriving on Surumi Island, but I did eventually find find a Mashiro in an open area of the island. You must be seeking speaking of the ceremonial site. Have we mentioned to anyone that we like saw ghosts or we saw people there? Uh, have have we just like failed to mention that part? As for the details, I no longer remember them well. Every time I try to do so, it's as if there's a fog in my head that prevents me from remembering the details of what occurred on Surumi Island. Oh, we forgot. Oh, could it be that the fog that enshrouds the island found its way into Ryuji's head after he breathed too much of it in? I don't remember either. Well, here's what I expect I experienced. At the time, I was trapped on Rito with no way of crossing the checkpoints. This was when Miss Sumida contacted me and commissioned me to help her go to Surumi Island to gather reference materials and to look for a Mashiro. I had my doubts when I boarded the Kama boat, Kama's boat, but as it turned out, he was actually able to avoid detection and bring me safely to the island after all. So you don't have a permit, Mr. Rold? Shh, come on now, these... Less than legal dealings might not be spoken of, need not be spoken of so loudly. Okay, anyways, as long as I, as long as it's asked of him, Kama will get it done. But if you don't ask him, he won't do anything. Like Ryuji, I fear that I can't remember much about what occurred. I took Kama's advice and walked through the large gateway into the fog. I met a friendly child and there was some sort of ceremony as well. Oh, he remembers. A kid, you say? Was his name Rue? Rue. I don't quite remember. We did make the trip in a hurry after all. Even I even I left my diary behind in Rito. The record clearly states that when civilization once existed on Surumi Island, what civilization once existed had been utterly destroyed, and yet there was still a child there. I could have sworn after all these few hurdles, I did finally get my hands on the Mashiro. Well, it does seem that Rold reported back to Samuda, convinced... What? It does seem that Rold reported back to Samuda, convinced that he had brought the item in question. Well, the truth was that he didn't have it. Could have sworn doesn't seem to be the operative phrase here. Very sorry. That's why I write diaries, you know? To compensate for my untrustworthy memory. Well, I say that, but I do often lose those diaries as well. So, there you go. <laughs> Ah, uh, I relate. I relate. I forget stuff and I lose stuff. Um, we've discovered lots of journey journals and diaries out in the wild. Does that mean that there's a ton of people with poor memories out there in the world? Probably. To be honest with you, what concerns me most is that these incidents aren't the missing, isn't the missing Mashiro, but the fact that you met locals of Surumi Island at all. According to the Tales of Distant Seas, there can be no doubt that Surumi Island was utterly destroyed several millennia ago. The monstrous bird of thunder was slain by the Electra Archon, 
upon the Amakumo Peak of Sarai Island. This is why the As oh I don't know how to pronounce that shrine was built to suppress the leftover power of the giant bird. Ah, I remember this quest. Wait, so this is the Thunderbird we've heard about in the past? President Songo, this doesn't have anything to do with the case. No, it does. Although I've never gone to Sarai with my, uh, myself, the fallout from the Thunderbird's death resulted in this strange phenomena that can be found on Amakumo Peak. When you add this together with the existence of the ley line disorders, which have since been common knowledge as well, only one conclusion remains, that thus it must be true that the strange occurrences that you experience must be related to Surumi Island itself. Okay. I do also feel that this gathering hasn't resulted in any meaningful conclusions though. Other than Mr. Rold and Bantan Sango, all the others I contacted believe that Surumi Island has some unique ley line disorder, or that it might even be haunted. None of them were willing to involve themselves any further. Perhaps I should take the commission back. Ugh, maybe the writer's life isn't my destiny after all. No, that won't do. After hearing you say so much about the Chronicles of the Sea Fog, Miss Samita, Paimon's now very, very interested to see what happens next. As a detective, I don't, be I don't believe in such things as destiny. Things happen for a reason, and all occurrences follow their own unique logic. Destiny doesn't come into it at all. But yes. We're here to find the Mashiro and give it to Miss Samita and finish the commission, aren't we? Mm. Okay, let's go. I'd ask Rabbis ask. Okay, next. Paimon sounds great on mute. <laughs> Uh, I do find Paimon much more enjoyable when she's not. Oh, God. Wait, why is it shrouded in fog again? Please, no. Please, no. I did so much work. No, 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 no. <laughs> no! But, but, but... <sighs> You're in for a little shot. But I did so much work. <laughs> All yours, should you have any use for them. Ooh, pretty. Key gateway beneath the clouds. Love that. Da -da 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 -da. This quest made me so mad. Huh? Seems like you're back to square one. <laughs> yeah, I gathered. I gathered that much. What the heck? Is it like all reset? No, this is right. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? They're mocking me. Into the wind. Be still. Oh wait, Hydro. Are they, were these remarkable chests added later? Because I can't imagine I wouldn't ignore these. Fence corner. Hmm. This is nostalgic. It is kind of nostalgic, huh? There's another one. Pass through the big gate. Ah, oh, thank you. 
Thank you, God. Thank you, God. They spawn day after day. Really? Wait, uh, Ru, can you just give me a second, actually? I'm going in! One with nature. Yeah. <laughs> All yours, should you have any use for them. Ah! It's you, Traveler and Paimon, and Paimon too. You went missing earlier. I thought you'd ended up like the others. Others, you say? That's right. I met other Outlands landers before this as well, but they all went missing, and they never came back. There was a man in green, and another man who called, other guy who called himself a detective. I wonder what happened to all of them. Hmm. People sure sound like Roald and Ryuji, don't they? They're both fine. We met them both just a while back. That's good. I was afraid they'd gotten lost in the fog or gotten eaten by those monsters that look like dogs. Nah, that won't happen. They've got skills, you know? Well, sorta. Still, we did encounter a whole lot of weird stuff after splitting up with you, Ru. We don't know where the Mashiro was found. we found gone, found gone either. The Mashiro? You should still have it on you, I think. I can feel its power on you. What? I once heard Grandpa Mata say, When darkness blanketed the world, the Thunderbird dispersed a mysterious fog to defend Surumi Island. But the people within the fog could not see the sun, the moon, or the- okay. No, it's fine. I didn't want to read that anyways. Ah, I didn't want to read the lore anyway. The Thunderbird's feathers were the origin for the original Mashiro. That's right. I can feel the same sort of power from you, I guess? Interesting. They definitely optimized that in Sumeru. Like you could, you had to click through long pieces of text like that. I wonder why they didn't go back and fix that <laughs> for this quest. Huh, speaking of feathers, Paimon's reminded of something. Back on Amakumo Peak, the commission is Sarai Island. Ah, oh, looks like something's shining. Oh. Hey. Tool. Genshin Impact has to glow, close it down. Yep, those feathers are the best kind of Mashiro around. That said, Paimon doesn't think this is what Miss Sumida is looking for. Man-made Mashiro doesn't have this kind of power, but since this is the original form of the Mashiro, it should have some special abilities. Perhaps it can even see the spirits of the dead. That's kind of hard to believe. Well, Paimon says that, but we've done all kinds of weird stuff many times before anyway. Let's try using it. Let's go. Nine! Oh my gosh, why have I not submitted those? Ah, okay. Comma. Oh! Uh, Paimon's getting a little nervous. It's like that time with Dusty Ming. <laughs> it's Big Brother Comma. I wonder how he's doing now. Huh? Comma? I'll bury this here. This is where we met each other after all. I'll leave the Machiro that I couldn't pass on to you over there. If I wish to bid this, whatever this place is, farewell. Can't bring anything with me. That's what you told me before you left. Ah, <sighs> so he left Surumi Island already. I hope he's doing all right. Well, today's the day of the ceremony, so we shouldn't dwell on unhappy things. I made an agreement with Kap Kappa Tsir? I'll now go see her soon. Everyone's gonna help me get ready, so I gotta go too. Thanks for helping me out with the perches. With your help, the ceremony is sure to go great this time. Uh, of course. Uh, if you don't mind, could you help me look for Grandpa Mata at the ceremonial site? 
Even though our purchase problem has been solved, there's other things we need help with. The ceremony is a very important event, after all. Lots of preparations need to be done first. Is that so? The last time we went to make an offering at the perch, he was gone. Gone? No, this is such an important ceremony. There's no way he'd leave it half done. I mean, it's nothing. In any case, please help me out. Let's do it. Dusty Ming. I don't remember Dusty Ming. Dusty Ming? Oh, from Liyue. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot. Mashiro. Mm -hmm. hmm. Does this mean that the commission's complete? Anyway, since we gave Ru our word, we'd head over to the ceremonial site and have a look. No take backs with kids, remember? Pama doesn't want to become a lousy adult. You count as an adult? Well, compared to being a kid, Paimon sure is closer to being an adult. Let's not get into this discussion, Paimon. I mean, Dusky, Dusky Ming's a kid, but she's pretty old, you know? Oh, Dusky, <laughs> not Dusty. <laughs> Dusky Ming. Uh, counting's hard. Let's just skip the details, shall we? Paimon, we don't get into age discussions, okay? It's a, it's a minefield. Dusty. Dusty. Do ghosts get dusty? Probably not. Everybody stand back. I was today, I was um today years old when I noticed I've been saying dusty all these years. <laughs> I don't blame you. Dusky Ming. What did I get? What did I get? Us to read lamp. Amazing. 62. My exploration went up 1%, guys. Oh! Norway. Norway. No pain, no gain. Calligraphy said, proper penmanship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll give it to Ayato next time I see him. I feel like Ayato would like, um,. Oh my gosh, these puzzles. I don't miss you. Norway. Not gonna lie, I don't miss these puzzles. Oh. Okay, this one doesn't move, got it. No! Oh my gosh. They're all remarkable chests. Summer Nights Collection. Ooh, preferred by Ayaka, Ayato, and Ito. Very nice. Okay. I put down Zhongli's pillar now for the best. <laughs> At least there's people here this time. Maybe I just wish it will all go well with him. It's been so long since I've seen him. Who knows? Now that I think about him, I pity him. Sayo? Shio? I knew someone in high school who was named Shio. I don't know if that's how she was um, Ethiopian. Oh no, she was Nigerian. So 
I don't I don't imagine the translation or the pronunciation carries over. Sayo left him behind and left the sea of fog, I'm afraid. Doesn't seem like we can be of any help here. Okay. Oh no. Oh. Kama's family? I hope that no, the great Thunderbird will surely be pleased with the ceremony this time. After all, this is the only child that she's ever shown favor to in all these years. Eminent priest Rue has yet to arrive. This is the final day. Let him wander for a little longer. But the great Thunderbird has already returned to Mount Kana. Is that so? Then truly our time is limited. Is there anything we can help with? Rue's our friend. Well then, waka Wakaku, Uina, and Autake. Please look after. Please look for him in these places. I believe you might find him there. Okay. Forgive my forwardness, but I don't think these places. These are places where ch a child should go. These are. This is true, but these are his favorite spots. It was it at Autake Plains that Ru encountered the Great Thunderbird, wasn't it? Yes, when we were together, he would often talk about the times he went fishing with Ipe by the shore of Wakakao and how he would pick seashells with at Oina with Sayo and Kama's family. Family's boy. Sayo, that loud mouth. He always talks about the world outside of the sea of fog. Should have left her outside the fog with nothing but three days rations, just like our forebears used to do we had Kama wouldn't have ended up like that either this is all past tense now there's nothing more to be said must continue making preparations for the Thunderbird's descendant descendant or descent excuse me okay heck a dialogue it is a lot of dialogue Kito and Kina oh, I always just hope with quests like this that the payoff is worth all the reading that's just weird. And the priests on the drawings up there don't look like Grandpa Matsa or the others at all. Yeah, it's super weird. Hey there. I've got a guess. They're not paying us any mind at all. Paimon's gonna get mad. Might as well listen in. It's time for Big Brother Kito's wild guesses. All right, what do you got this time? These murals depict a time before the Sea of Fog, a long, long time ago. There's no fog over the world, so everyone could see what was up there. Up there, they could see these round and pointy-shaped things, these mountain-like things. That's why these ancient murals look the way they do. That's some imagination you've got there, Kito. Are these like souls who haven't been able to pass on or something like that? That's what it seems like. But not a word of this to Grandpa Mato or Grady Gra Gra Ula. <sighs> we'll be in for an earful otherwise. Yeah, I know. Round and pointy shaped things. Are they talking about the moon and stars depicted here on the mural? The fog's so thick, no wonder they couldn't see them. So the children of Surumi Island thought this way, huh? Paimon wonders what else they believed. Hi, Jacob. Welcome to stream. Uh, looks like we've got to go back for Rue again, huh? Okay, let's go. Paimon feels cheated, though. Rue asked us to come here, and now the people here want us to look for him. Who knows, Paimon? There might be treasure. Well, if you say so. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. What were you going to say about Ayato? Oh, I was going to say, you think Ayato would like stationary gifts? Like pens and papers and notebooks and stuff? I feel like he would. Like a fountain pen? Did I not finish my sentence? <laughs> Said that. <laughs> oh, so you collect these? Incredibly condescending. Oh gosh, I do not remember how to do this. Oh, oh. 
kidding. Wait, I can't see. All yours, should you have any use for Oh. Okay, hold on. I need a notebook otherwise. <laughs> My visual memory is um <laughs> questionable. So, let me just write this down. My notebook. Otherwise, it's gone. Got it. What's that? Who's better F2P opinion? Option Ganyu or Hutao? Um, hmm. Oh, I forgot. Things don't change. They just like, you hit them in the right order. Okay, I got this. Honestly, both of them are. It really, I really think with that, it just comes down to play style. Um, Hu Tao is, as, for F2P, and that's assuming that you're playing, um, mm, yes. Slate! I forgot about these. Wait! I forgot what the purpose was of the, these. Very I'll remember nice. later. Um, Hu Tao, you have to, if you're playing her C0, you have to be a bit more mindful of like your, how you, you have to learn how to like cancel charge attack. You have to do learn, figure out how to do like the jump so that you can conserve stamina like that. Um, which can be quite hard on mobile. Ganyu I think is more straightforward. However, she's very squishy so um, it can be, uh, risk, risk, risk. You, you'll need, I would argue, like a, like a pretty good shielder with, with Ganyu. If that helps. Okay, I already did this one. Yeah, dodging, I feel like it depends also with mobile, mobile gameplay. Ipe. <laughs> In a sumo, decipher hieroglyphics and walk through a mile of broken glass bare feet for a common chest. <laughs> oh, this? Well, the secrets of fishing is patience. No, no, it's not boring at all. I love fishing. Sounds like he's talking to someone. The fish don't sing, but if you sing to them, I'm sure they can hear you. Not that this means they would eat you, too, of course. No problem. Once you're older, I can teach you how to fish. But when you grow up, you've got to teach me the secrets of the Ishine script. I mean, this is the knowledge that only gets passed down through the priestly families, you know. Uh, your family. For example, the words on those rocks. Oh. Solve the mis mystery of the stones. For sure, for sure. Ow. One with nature. Burn! Oh wait. Corrosion. Haha. <laughs> So distracting with all the, the chests everywhere. This means you know you need another five star with Hu Tao. Yeah. Well, no. I think Layla is also a very good option for um for shielding. That was fast. A faithful offering. A faithful offering. Ooh. Like I rarely use my teapot, but it's just fun to collect stuff.
Didn't you forgot about the Electra Sealy? Um, no. Time I was go. going back for it. <gasps> just saw a puzzle. I just saw a chest. And, you know... My priorities changed. I try to use Layla, but, but it always runs out. You know, when I run Layla in co-op domains, I use... I use Sacrificial. Um... Oh, another one. See, like, how do you expect me to remember that? I use a uh, sacrificial sword so that I can use her, her, I can have a uh, better uptime on her E. It's not technically better, but it means 100% uptime on her, on her uh, shield. So I do it anyway. Yeah, that's no one is gonna compare to Zhongli. Zhongli's shield is just so 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 strong. Um But Layla is definitely comparable and it, it I would say I would guess that Layla's shield uptime is very similar to um Hu Tao's charge attack duration. So I still think that's worthwhile. One fork. Stick man. Pyramid. Laser pointer. It's also Toma. He was meant to be paired with Hutao when he was first released. That's true. That's true. But is Toma even good with Hutao? I feel like I tried it and it didn't work out very well. She's also great Noblesse bot since her burst cooldown is the same as the duration of Noblesse. Toma. <laughs> Toma. Such high hopes. <laughs> yeah, I thought the problem was that Toma applies pyro and steals her vapes. Toma stole my vape. Wow, it appeared. Huh. Paradoxito says sorry about this is a little late MS dish, but the stationary thing with Yato is actually somewhat canon. You should check out the Umemaru pen case story. Umemaru pen case story? Where would I find that? Really? That's cool. He stole my vape, dude. <laughs> Toma, gotta kick that nasty habit of stealing people's vapes. Just get your own. That is so... <laughs> Dang, that's cool. He does seem like the stationary, enjoying type. It's in his character stories, Friendship 4. Okay, I'll ch I will look. Uh, to this, to think that the Ishine script has this kind of power, perhaps it's related to the ley line in some way, how unexpected. You're right, the previous priest did have a sense of humor, huh? Why do I like fishing? Uh, let me think about it for a moment. If I had to put my finger on it, it's probably because fishing makes me feel like this ocean and the rest of the world are connected. That way, this island doesn't feel so small, even though we can't escape the sea of fog. And, uh, how do I say this? I guess I've also fished up all kinds of interesting stuff along the way. For example, the knowledge that you love to sing in secret. Uh... Oh, is he talking to Rue? Well, if people can talk to dragons, the ability to talk to non-existent people isn't too strange. That's true. Yeah, we've seen a lot of weird stuff while traveling together, huh? Come on, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. You sing pretty well. I feel lucky just listening to you, you know? You want to sing for Mak Makiri? Sure, I mean, why'd you need to ask me? Alright then. If you're going back to Oino Beach, say hi to Kama and the others for me. Careful now. You get lost in the fog, just play the Mashiro. I'll come find you for sure. Okay. Um, what day of the quest are you on? It could be two or three. It really depends on how much I finished when I first started the quest. 
many aeons ago. Time to go. Because <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Coming, Sato. you. No oh, wait, I meant to switch to Kasuha. It's okay. The wind knows. Wind strike. Oh. Let's light it up. Ayato character story four. Oh, here it is. Even Kamisato Ayato himself could not have expected that calligraphy practice, which he found most boring in his youth, would eventually become a welcomed pastime of his. He had slogged through uh, much better, through much penmanship practice to better play the part of Kamisato's eldest son. But nowadays, uh, he transcribes a few poems from time to time to clear his mind and think in silence. Of course, this also lets him seem like he's busy without official busyness, even while idle. Wow, that's so me. All the better to avoid seeing some people doing certain things. With time passing, it became agreed amongst the servants waiting on him that he not only liked to play chess, but was also fond of calligraphy. Such talks would spread widely via word of mouth. As such, Ayato often receives excellent brushes as gifts during the festivals or during festivals or birthdays. Some of the most speculative have even bought him some exquisite and expensive quill pens from overseas. I also never attempted to clarify this matter, but instead had a lovely wooden case made for which he stores his stationery. He has always been interested in all things new and trying, uh, trying, where did I look? Trying out these new pens is indeed fun. Moreover, these gifts often say much about the person who sent them. Such information thus becomes one of the means by which Ayato can get a handle on them. That said, though he claims to have bought this case to store stationery, there are three pen there are three pens that Ayato has never placed inside of them. Inside of it. One one of them, slim and well crafted, is placed on the, on the desk. It shows signs of some wear and tear, but it writes well and is used for writing petitions. The second is stored in the drawer at the bottom, its fine tip having seen much love in the past when Ayato was practicing calligraphy. Its beginner-friendly nature also saw it borrowed quite often by Toma and Ayaka back in the day. As for the third, it is stored deep within the wooden cabinets, used to store antiques, sealed within a silk bag. Excellent of make and design, it was pre presented to him by his mother during his adulthood ceremony. Ah, yeah. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were going to hit me at the end, Hoyoverse. You always do this. I always do this. They always, like, anytime you read or do a quest, it's, like, a lot of information and a lot of surrounding, like, details. And then it's all for, like, a little, like, a little prick into your heart at the end. Even better than I imagined. <laughs> I Do you wake up? Do you wake up? Thank goodness. He sleep. He always do this. Always ends with a gut punch, so I'm expecting that from this quest as well. Run with nature. All yours. Should you have any use for them? I do. I think. Well. <laughs> Otogi crate. Don't have a lot of use for it, actually. So maybe you got it this time. <laughs> a box. Wow. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> Whoa. There's nothing here? What do you mean? Whoa. 
Well, I did that when I... <sighs> did it the first time. Hey there. Oh, it's you, Rue. <gasps> That's weird. That's the weird comma from before. Sorry to disappoint you, but I've picked off every last seashell off this beach today. I mean, wasn't our intention to give them to him? So... Hey. Ah. Maybe I should not should say instead that you've come at just the right time. I mean, aren't there some rocks with, uh... Whatever you call that writing on them again? I remember you saying that the order was very important, Rue. So if we mess the rocks' orders up... They call it the Ishini script. I've said this before, but I don't think it's a good idea. And Rue's here too, I don't think he'd let us do this, considering that he's the son of the priest and all. What, you want to join in? Ah, see? I always knew Rue wasn't some stick in the mud. Alright, let's do this. Okay, okay, I will do it. Inexplicable. <laughs> uh, this is funny. Watching the future priest touch these stones like the records say they should, and then coming up blank in the end? I still think this isn't right. Ugh, this guy's a bore. You know what, let's not hang out with him. Let's go room delving with Kito and Kina. Actually, Ru, since you're pretty friendly with those two, could you remind them to please take care of themselves? I too believe that they, there are green lands beyond the Sea of Fog, and humans too. That there were some, there were people in history before the Thunderbird came, but someone needs to record things that happened in our village. <sighs> You're such a killjoy. You know what, Rue? You should grow older faster. If you were the priest, I'm sure you'd lead us all out of the Sea of Fog to see the outer world. I wonder. I can't wait for that day to come. Can I wait for that day to come? Alright. Kama said that he saw you in at the Atake Plains the other day. Gotta be careful over there. The fog is, thick, fog is thickest in that area. You fall off the cliff and that's the end for you. You really do have to go. Take me with you. That's right. Kama over here has got brains like a rock. He's no ordinary rock. He's got a sense of direction. Oxford. There's a wasp in my room. Send help. Oh my gosh. That's actually a nightmare. Wasps are evil wicked. Mm, okay, I assume they're... Oh, supposed to go... in their proper places. Fun. Watch, I get a common chest after this. I don't think I'm gonna get anything. <laughs> you know, Rue, would you like to come stay with me? Or would you like to come with me? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna get anything. I get dialogue. It's better than any treasure. I'm serious. The world outside the fog really does exist. I've seen people come in from the outside. Once there was someone who came to the island, lost their way in the fog, and injured themselves in a fall as a result. The people told me all sorts of things about the outside world. He said that he came from an island on the other side of the sea. There's no fog there, only rolling green lands, blue sky, and golden sun. He said that the Thunderbird always flies from our island to his, and it was the sight of the Thunderbird, Thunderbird in flight that made him want to come over and see what it's like here. I know, right? I found it really mysterious, too. 
So how about this then? Wanna come with me? This place is too stifling. Grandpa Mata isn't a bad person. He just isn't willing to doubt our dance ancestors' words. But as for me, I wanna I wanna go see what the outside world is like. Anyway, I hate the idea of offering people to the Thunderbird. I'm sure the Thunderbird probably hates it too. Well, about Kama. It's true, huh? We left him alone here. But I get it. If you've decided to say stay, then I'm sure this place will become better once a better one thanks to you. Yeah, who needs Tracer? Not me. Just kidding, I need it. Mind the daily. <sighs> I need it more than I need a brute. Oh my gosh, my. Okay. I need it more than I need a breathe. Be still. Even if it's just yes. a common chest or Very a nice. remarkable chest. These ones don't give primos, do they? But they do give, you know what they do give? <laughs> Duels. Duels. <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> they do? Even <laughs> these ones? They're everywhere! Ali Mali. Yeah. <laughs> All yours, should you have any use for them. I don't see the- and I'm not getting a notification that I'm getting primos. <laughs> they didn't pop up. No, I don't think I am. Relay stone. Remember not getting primos, primos from Remarkable Chess on Surumi. Sick. Oh, it went back. Why did it reset? <laughs> What's that? Okay, but I think this is it. What the? You don't get electrocuted on Surumi? But what is streaming if not content persevering? Happy night. <laughs> Historia, thank you for the, the nine months. That's so true. Beto applies. All right, let's go. Lecture, right? I no. <laughs> oh, 
I don't understand what you want from me. Oh. The more the merrier. The first round's on me. Okay. Anyways. Gotta love those Inazuma puzzles. Can you imagine if there was load, load, load limit in the teapot? That would actually, I think, motivate me to want to play it more because... There's nothing here, huh? What do you mean by that? All yours, should you have any use for them. Oh, I got a Kitsune statue, though. That's nice. If I sing here, no one will discover me, right? Maybe I should just go deeper inside. Yeah, if it was there was no load limit, I would feel much more inclined. Because I feel like... I start working really hard on an area, and I have a vision for it, and then I get hit with the load limit. I'm like, well, what was the point of it all? Why does it matter? Looks like there's another Thunderbird statue. Okay. Matching stone. I have a stone slate. That's what you want. I think even if they gave more load limit, like, or they gave the players the option to add more load limit, that would be really nice. I <laughs> Kamisato on Suyu Yeah, like I my my device can handle it, so let me have more load. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no. Yeah, I may have. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dying. I'm dead. No! Nah! I can do it. I can do it. Dang it. Crunch. I still think this weapon is like one of the nicest that Genshin has made. Serpent Spine. It's still my favorite. Visually. Follow the Sealy, I don't s oh.
Oh shoot, I don't want to get lost. Room is at 81, and I tend to let it stay that way. <laughs> I feel more motivated to do um to do quests lately. More than I used to. I actually started the r, &R quest. My... I lend you my strength in completing that quest. Hey, rule of three again. It's not that bad. It's fine. Oh wait. These are too confusing. They look too much like the Sumeru ones. So they don't switch. I wonder if they are related actually. They look almost identical. Curious tunes, tiny human. Afraid not of thunders and storms. Oh, bye. Um, went to your profile and there's no Discord. Can we see some of your builds in another way? There is a Discord. Oh, I'm talking about um. This this. You can ask me if there's a specific build that you want to see. But most of mine are pretty, like, pretty standard. Yeah, as long as you don't like spam chat or anything, you can you can ask for specific builds if you want. Not there's not like a guarantee that I would answer depending on how busy it is. But if I have time, I'd be happy to. Crunch. Mm-mm, I'm sorry. Big cheese crunchies from Trader Joe's are just just top tier. Well, that's what I was expecting. Everyone's gone. We've met Bake. Uh, Danuki and the other islands before. On the other islands, could this be a big trick of theirs? Uh, now Paimon's getting angry. If we had have to keep trudging through the clouds and fog, it better be worth it. So we got the Mashiro, even though we don't know if it'll disappear again or not. Hopefully we can get it back to Miss Samita this time. There's a person here who looks a lot like Kama. Time passes strangely on Surumi Island. People here can't seem to see us.
I'm the only one who does the thinking though. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh yeah, Ayato is my 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 most Giga Whale character. Uh, I saved and I spent for him. But yeah, he is C six. Probably my best. Probably my best built character is Yunjin, but he is the strongest character I have by far. But no, 15K is not standard. <laughs> it's definitely not. I'm trying to mute when I crunch so it's not annoying, but I keep forgetting. Uh, wait a moment. Right? We need to check real quick. Um, Wild guess. But I feel like the- Oh, it's still there? Huh. It's surprising. <laughs> oh, you're back. I really hope you've brought the Mashiro this time, or else- Or else my novel will never get written. Oh, come on. Commission of this level was a piece of cake for us. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, this is the exact same dialogue as before. The Mashiro is in my hands. Is this it? Is this how I, Samita, will obtain the Mashiro? The Mashiro is the key to the write writing the Chronicles of the Sea Fog, working title. So this is a Mashiro. You know, I can't help but feel a bit disappointed. You, woman. I don't want to hear that you're disappointed, okay? I've, I've put in so much work to get this. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking that it lacks, you know, a sense of destiny. This is an artifact retrieved from the wreckage of a civilization of which no laughter or song had been heard in a thousand years. To think I would get my hands on this, hands on it this easily. You're really annoying, you know that? If you're not satisfied, you can go to Surumi Island yourself. That's right. It took a lot of effort for us to get this. Don't you make it out uh, to be something simple, some simple matter. Sorry, as expected of the legendary traveler. And the renowned Paimon. I mean, you completed a commission that even famed adventurers and detectives could not. And so smoothly at that. Impressive. Yes, very impressive. You know, I was even thinking of changing the title from The Chronicles of the Sea and Fog to The Tales of Traveler and Paimon. Okay, now you're just brown nosing. Uh. Oh, I know. Why don't you change your names to Fog and Sea respectfully? Respectively. She's crazy. Get back on topic. Even highly experienced outlander mercenaries couldn't get this Mashiro. It's just absolutely amazing that it came into your hands this way. Even Shinzen, widely regarded as the strongest character in the three young nobles, would be no match for you. Of course, a small minority mean believe that Hakushusai is stronger still, but if you were read the works preceding the prison official. Yeah, please, please shut. Truth be told, I'd like to hear about your adventures on Surumi Island. It must have taken some twists and turns for you to get a hold of the Mashiro, right? I'm sure those parts would be worth writing about. Yeah, but you're gonna have to cough up some extra payment for that and say, no way. I'm giving you more stuff for free. Actually, we've got some questions we'd like to discuss as well. Oh my gosh. She doesn't deserve to know it. Even though Surumi Island has already been destroyed, certain people and periods of time will play back at no abnormal speeds, just like wraiths might. 
Not to mention how the passage of time within the fog is very different from how it might pass on the outside world. We haven't actually talked about that yet. But those people are not ghosts in a traditional sense, but instead are occurrences, being replayed over and over. They do not notice the visiting protagonist. Amidst all of this, a mysterious boy. The protagonist? So those who took the commission in the past could not retrieve the Mashiro because they received a fake ghost Mashiro instead? I see, so that's how it is. I understand now. You know what? I think you two have some writing talent. This is very interesting indeed, but some aspects of the story are quite rigid and unconductive. Unconductive to the development of the setting. Still. Oh, don't worry about it. I think that this, will, this with some time and some polish, this story will definitely sell well. Aratani should like this sort of story too. Maybe I'll even get it contracted with Yai Publishing House. Ah, my days of professional writing are coming soon, aren't they? No, no, I haven't even decided on my pen name yet. Or maybe I'll use my real name, like Mr. Nine does. Oh, Nine might be cooler. Can you shut up? I don't care. How did Samita get the audacity? Working title. <laughs> I still require more stories. Uh, he is my reliable partner, isn't he? We've sailed through the wild storms, just like the legendary Akko, Domizi, Zaimon, and Jamone Gonbei? You mean the time you almost died? You mean the time you threw up some purple goop? Ah, uh, well, the legends do say that Akko, Akka Domeki was saved by Jamone many times. In any case, I want to le learn more about Kama. Okay, cough up some cash, woman. Some primos. He still got that keeping his true power mystery only to join the protagonist party in the closing phases of the story feel to him, you know? I think it might be worth writing such characters into the plot. Please continue your exploration of Surumi Island. <sighs> 50 primos. Okay, well, that's it for today. On this quest, I guess. <laughs> Pay me primo first. Don't care. Give me Mora. <laughs> oh. Yay. Thank you. Da -na 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 -na. I do like the exploration of Surumi Island, though. I find it enjoyable. Wait. So... I had dreams that a certain character was going to be added to the standard banner. And those dreams were not true. So I just have all these wishes to use. And I think I should use them. Wait, what's my pity? I've been, I've been saving. My dream said Navia. Was that also a false dream? Am I going to regret this later? Oh. Oh. What? Oh, wow. I'm due for a five star. That's cool. What if I could get a Tignaticon? That would be so lit. Lisa C6, thankfully I already... Wait, do I? I think I did C6 here the last time she was in the shop. Yes. Let's do it. Let's see what happened. Oh, wait, no, I actually did want one, another one of these. I did want another one of these because I pass it back around between all my different characters. <laughs> so it's actually fine. <laughs> That's fine. It's nothing naughty, but it's fine. Double. Hey. 
Yeah, that's actually good. I thought it was the Skyward Atlas, and I was going to be disappointed if it was that. But no, I could definitely use another one of these. Gracias. Riveting. Well, there you have it. Exciting wishing session to end stream today. I do have, I have more energy to stream. Unfortunately, I have work that I must do today. So I gotta, I gotta end. It's almost four hours. This was longer than I meant to stream, but the live stream was way longer than I thought it was gonna be. Um. Ozzy, I don't know if I got this. Thank you for the seven months. Resub. 32. All right, gamers. Thanks for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. <sighs> you guys want to raid Dawn? Miss Dawn? She's doing... She's doing Dawn Hung's quest. <laughs> which I did yesterday. <laughs> but if you were missed it, you want to watch it. King, either way, you can go say hi to Miss Pee Pee. 4.1 should be fun. Bye bye, Chad. It's been real. I don't think you will see me tomorrow. Maybe not, Pro possibly not. TBD. Bye-bye, gamers. <laughs>